But um, in the meantime, we did play this game yesterday, uh, and it was a good time. Like, I had played Narco, which was... It looked like a really good game, but it was just the the type of content, like what it covered, um, was not well suited for the channel. So I was like, oh wait, hang on. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It was I try and make a safe space that people can, you know, come here, find good headspace, and avoid anxiety, and all that thing. Uh, who would have thunk a game about renovating? It's actually not surprising, because this is loading so many objects and textures, it would not surprise me if it... <laughs> If it's rough and plus it's very you know still fairly early access kind of well not early access i actually don't know in the regards to early access where it's at there but um here i'm just rebooting the camera that's the reason you don't hear the game because when i alt tab the audio goes away but um so because you're opening so many assets and all that kind of stuff i can see where that could be an absolute gpu hog and then plus a lot of games this isn't the only one that does it there are a lot of games that the um the front main menu of the game doesn't respect frame limiters and all that. And so you're rendering like a still screen at like 250 frames per second, just blasting your GPU for no reason. But, um, but the thing that we ran into is this game feels very, um, Sorry, I noticed there was dirt. But, um, so we started playing the game, and it's it's one of those ones, it's kind of like House Flipper and the whole, like, you renovate stuff. Uh, the difference being about this game is that, like, you also run a hotel, so there's, like, a bigger business thing happening. Um, and in addition to that, it's got a lot more, like, kind of silly nonsense. Like, there's a chicken that breaks stuff, and then, like, makes you play dice games against it. Um, one of our first patrons was a vampire, so he actually is living in a, um, in her grandpa's, like, old cellar in the basement. Um, that kind of stuff. But, like, as you can see, like, when we walk into some of these rooms, like, the rooms are a dump. Because her grandpa apparently, ooh, a fireplace. We haven't seen a fireplace yet. The guy that actually writes their compositions. He's a genius. Very serious and dark. I'd go for a minimalistic design. Just black and white, honestly. I mean, these are heckin' fancier. But, um... But yeah, so what ends up happening is you have, like, random guests that stay at places, but then you'll have, like, quests and all that kind of thing where, like, I have these three rooms I need to renovate more specifically. Um, but it's really a fun, fun game. Then you go up to walls and you go, SMASH! It's very cathartic. So it's like, the first thing you do is like, demo the entire room. But it ends up being like, really kind of fun. But it's kind of like, silly and slapsticky on some of the stuff they do, like... When we went into the place, like, the front lobby area was just as trashed as these rooms are. Um, and finding the time to actually like, do something with it. It's, like, very time-consuming, just hasn't been, like, wasn't a thing, because you had so many other stuff to do. Um, and so, like, it's actually the quest we're doing for the person now. This rack band is like, hey, we want to, like, do our music video while you smash up your, like, hotel lobby for the demo part. And, like, we'll pay you a bunch of money. It was, like, really fun. Um, so it's kind of really cool with that. They have, like, people have, like, really weird asks. Like, we had Uncle Joe showed up and he wanted everything to be mauve pink. So they end up, like, with all sorts of weird stuff. I'll do a tour of the hotel here in just a couple minutes. I'll wait till some people, like, arrive and all that. No, not the dear answers. Yeah, but those ones are trashed ones. Like, they're all, like, busted up and broken. Also, the person wants a minimalistic look. So, like, this is one of those ones that have, like, a specific desire. The, um... The person wants for their room so as such i got to accommodate them because unlike a real hotel where they make all the rooms like efficiently and cost effective and all that sort of stuff this would be apparently like make our rooms to the individual client of uh, which i'm like how hecking must much that cost for you like a hotel to be like oh you're staying for the night no problem let me renovate the entire room to fit your personal preferences 
You know, let me just burn $30,000 in renovation. And make sure the room is what you want. They do some interesting stuff with the rooms of these shapes. But as you can see, we're totally trashing this place. We just need to get all the stuff off the wall first. But you'll notice, like, on the far right, um, like, the top part, you're not missing anything. But there's, like, gauges down there that has, like, a picture of a trash can that's at 60-something percent. And as I break the stuff, it goes up. Step one is it makes you, like, fully, fully, the fully throw. Here. Music score must be in this room, too. That's interesting. I couldn't destroy the piano. Yeah, so they have special stuff that happens too, which is always fun. Like there's hidden golden eggs you find, and they give you a bunch of money when you find them. Well, that's interesting. Does that go into the next room? I mean, hotels used to do it all the time. There isn't a next room. Okay. There's room 207. But I can't open that door. Can I pry it open? No. Hmm. I don't know what to do about that. I find that curious. Find notes first. Huh. Oh, yeah, and this tell you how you vacuum clean in real life, right? You just go to any amount of, like, concrete, debris, whatever you pulled off. You just go launch your vacuum across the entire room. Which that's actually, I heard, um, tuning into some of the other people who've been playing that, oh, that's probably our notes right there. Tuning into some of the other people playing the game, people were complaining, they're like, man, it's not like House Flipper, where I have to put down each tile one by one. And don't get me wrong, I really like um, House Flipper, like, you know what, that's something I don't miss. So... All right, police. Excellent. I sure we apparently have a room that we can only get into by finding the notes in the piano and then playing possibly one of the most likely things people are going to play on the piano. Yeah, so as a golden egg, they're hidden everywhere. I think there's, like, supposed to be 12 of them? Like, I think they reappear so you can grab them a second time. I'm not super confident in that. Or if, like, as we play and unlock new areas, it goes from saying whatever out of 12. You know what this game is missing? More monotony, says Butte. Yeah, so, like... What'd you say? Our musical guests had a great time, but their instruments went missing? But yeah, no, like to, that's the thing. Part of what makes House Flipper so interesting is, like, that you do all these, like, little things. Did I find $60,000 of diamonds in this? Alright, I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that. An unbelievable story happened in our town in a short while ago. A partner, a punter named Roy Bennett decided to bet his savings on a winning horse. Roy, who is a bellboy at the local hotel, took the chance as well worth the risk. Um, in the interview at the Gazette, we asked Mr. Bennett about what he was planning to do with his wings. And his answer is, well, ever since I started working at, as a bellboy, my biggest dream is to become a hotel owner. I have just placed an offer on the hotel that I've been working at, and it was accepted. You can expect a lot. Cool. So basically, what a discovery. So this is how Grandpa became the owner of the hotel. And look at those diamonds. They must be worth a fortune. Or sixty thousand dollars, very specifically. Hum. By notes, 
play wait can i destroy the piano no i destroyed something i am creating a pile of debris I mean, the piano's trashed. Oh, um, hang on. I misunder- Okay, you can just- I'll leave that alone. Is this the Grand Budapest Hotel, too? No, so I need to find their instruments. Like, could they be anywhere in the hotel? That's actually going to be annoying. Because they're not going to be... Well, actually, let's check the room we have done up here. It's not that one. Hi, you're not the person I'm renting this room to. Because this is the lead singer's room. That's not actually the guitar. That's a guitar I placed it because this is the lead singer and she had a guitar. Um, And she likes prints on her walls. So that's the reason why all the prints on the wall. That's a saying where... um. We have the rooms have certain designs and all that. Like, they're not super strict, like you have to use this thing or that thing. Um, she wanted prints on her walls, and she wanted lots of black. Oh, and we have a room that's haunted again. Lovely. Hey, Prodner, how's it going? But yeah, so what I was saying is like... It's actually one of the appeals of House Flipper that you sit there and you like you take the wall and you bang on. All right, so it's looking like a day that the uh, the camera is not going to play nice. So I'm just going to go and cut my losses on the camera. And just hit that off button and do this because that's twice already in 18 minutes that the camera's locked up. So I can think of better ways to waste my time than fixing that again and again. Uh, maybe we'll give it our go a little bit later. Why is that there? Okay, anyways, let's go ahead, because we just got things started, so let's give the grand tour. So, we'll start in the front room. Let's start in the lobby. Oh yeah, and we physically haven't had access to the second floor the whole time. I had to fix the second floor button myself. Um, and sometimes the textures take a moment to load, which is why they all look weird. So when you enter the hotel, here you go. You've got a front desk over here with a bunch of mirrors behind it. You've got the person who stands behind the front desk and never does anything here with her terrifying soulless eyes that are sunken like two feet back in her head. Don't worry about it. Don't look straight at her and she can't hurt you. Just hit a few times to fix itself. But yeah, so you go in here. We've got like a little coffee bar kind of thing going over here. In the right. Originally it was intended being like an actual bar as you can tell from all of the glasses I put here. Um, and that was just until this opened up and we have, like, a legit bar. She isn't fully appearing in the mirror either. Yeah, just don't look at her directly. It'll be okay. Um, so again, like, a nice little waiting area. People lose their wallets in here constantly. Um, I still don't know where that bottle came from. Is that trash? No, that's just a regular bottle. Okay, it's fine. I can stay there. Now, this back area I haven't done anything. This is supposedly, like, my office. Um, we have our basement where we got a circuit breaker. I cleaned it up, but I didn't fix it up um and this is uh this is where vlad sleeps that's not a joke we have a vampire who lives in our hotel who sleeps in there um we'll show you his actual room later but he he prefers you know sleeping in it's not a coffin it's like just a box but um so we got that has ever woken up uh so it's getting there it's opened up i haven't seen him walking around again Regular bar in the back, the main bar in the lobby, mini bar in the rooms. Yeah. So we got our bar here. Occasionally there'll actually be bar staff here. Um, but it's just a pretty straightforward bar. We got a bunch of seats that look out at this fountain, like people watching kind of area. Makes sense for a bar. Um, we got a whole bunch of different seating for people who want to sit down and actually have food. We have the trash that reappears every single time. I don't know why. It's kind of annoying. Um, a cabinet because it's required to have one. They're really like Honestly, for a proper bar, there's more seating. Like, this spot being open is fine, but there should be more tables here. Like, this is a lot of loose real estate. Anyways, that's our first floor. Well, I mean, I guess floor zero, ground floor. All depending if you're using what's common. In Wait, what? 
Good day, kind sir. My, Rupert is having a portrait painted of the famous artist in town. We're looking for an accommodation for a few days. Rupert needs to be comfortable, so please make sure to prepare a room according to the list of requirements. Okay, is it timed? It is timed. Oh. Okay. Well, we'll have to continue the tour in just a moment. Actually, I was on the right floor. <sighs> room for a disco floor hidden. Also, why can't you hire a housekeeper? I know, right? Why can't I hire someone who also, like, the uh, the circuit breaker breaks constantly and the power goes out and I have to go down and flip it myself? I'm like, okay. Oh, this is the room you want? Every time I walk into this room and there's a pile of cash sitting on the table, I find it weird. That's them tipping me, by the way. Okay, so. We have a special request. I find it amusing that she's taken the room we have for the Bachelor Rep Party. Um, I'm cool with it, but also, I'm surprised. So you need a water bowl and all that. Where are we going to put the water bowl? Not right on the sunlight. That'll make the the stuff evaporate faster i mean it is a dog and from being someone who's a uh who has owned a dog in the past that stuff's gonna get all over the floor we're putting in the tile floor so at least it's easy to clean up all right and go to special wait was that oh interesting a whole bunch of new fancy things that I didn't have before. That's fine. Let's not get distracted. So I need to find a dog bed. But I don't know where the dog bed's going to be located in all of our stuff, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to just scroll through it. There. Dog bed. That is not what I was expecting a dog bed to look like. I mean, it's fine. It is, in fact, a dog bed. Let's tuck that right there in the corner. Um, I did notice that the room is filthy. That's not what I want. Let's go get rid of that. That's Arctic. That's the thing that... Hmm. Yeah, so the food and water stays, but the bowl goes up. The aquarium goes up, but not the bubbles. Yeah, it checks out. I guess it's just ready. Um, anyways, now that we're done with that, back to our tour we were working on. Where were we? So this is the first room we made. Um, I didn't really mean to make it this pink. It was just messing around with colors and we didn't have lighting because we didn't have proper lights in the room at the time. And then we just rolled with it. But yeah, so we got our couches set up and we have our lights. Basically, this is kind of like minimum requirements for the place. Um, we got our bathroom. It's sort of a modern, minimalistic bathroom, but it also has, like, an accent wall. Not necessarily a great design. Like, that bathroom does not go with this room well. It's fine. Uh, don't worry about the draft. Um, we then made... Whose room is this? Oh, yeah, this is a romantic couple's room. So, you know, again, we got flowers all over the place. We got champagne and glasses, bunch of candles everywhere. Rose bed, draft. Um, you know, hecking nice bathroom. So, you know, lovely place. And we go down here. This is Vlad's room. So the vampire who's sleeping in the uh, in the trunk downstairs. This is his actual room, which he does pay for, but allows us to rent out to other people because he's not staying in here. Um, so his ask was that it be black and red, and that it have candles, lots of candles. So we have delivered on that. Um, and again, black and red. So it's it's very, it's very what it is. Uh. Oh, here, one second. Oh, you, one second. Don't worry about me for a moment. Hang on. Uh, 
Um, the lady goes, oh, my room is absolutely fine. Rupert also absolutely loved it. I've left a copy of the portrait. You can hang in your lobby, preferably. Goodbye. Wow, that was scary. Thanks. Okay, so we've caught our ghost. Um, you can stop making noise. I picked you up. Yes, this is the uh, one of the rooms we made. This is for Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe wanted a very, very conservative design that was mauve pink. Um, Uncle Joe is apparently a very complicated person. So we made it pink enough to make Uncle Joe happy. And then supposedly this is conservative. I don't understand either, but look, it's Uncle Joe. We go with it. Uh, don't worry about the draft. Yes, this is a... You know what? I'm fixing this bathroom because this upsets me. And the reason I'm fixing it is the only flooring I could find that made Uncle Joe happy was carpet. And it just bothers me too much to have a carpeted bathroom. Is there an obnoxious pink tile or, like, or pink-ish tile for this? Uh, no, it doesn't really fit. There. That's the one. Yeah, this is the thing that people are complaining about. Was like, house, house flipper, I'd have to go over here and like stand in the corner and put down one tile and put down the next tile and put down the next tile. It'd still be way faster than it is in real life, but I'd have to go block by block. And, and it's fine. Like, that fits the house flipper model. But with this where you're managing such a larger space... You know, it's just not what... All these... Uncle Joe's room is terrible. It's fine. But, um... But yeah, and like, the whole, like, hallway here is trashed. And hey, She-Wolf! Um, this is what we were been referring to as the Ikea room. Uh, because they had our hotel room that had, like, no requirements. And so I couldn't decide what color to make things. One second, I see a spider web. We couldn't figure out what like to do with the requirements kind of thing. So um, what I did instead was I was like, okay, let's straight up make it look like you just went to IKEA and took care of it. Um, so everything has that. It's kind of you know beige and like faux wood. Let's see, Prodigy says, do extra, do you charge extra guests for a ghost in there? Of course. I mean, that's two people staying there. Ghosts are people too. But yeah, so they made it very Ikea-esque, except like the bathroom is nicer. And the story we've gone with is they bought this bathtub and it was way outside their budget. I realize in the game it's only like 225 bucks. But like, in real life, this is a heckin' expensive bathtub. You're talking a two, three thousand dollar bathtub there. So we're, we're just assuming they blew their entire uh, renovation budget on that bathtub. And, you know, the rest is just, they made it work. Um, and then we even went with the point of, like, having the two different cabinets in the bathroom that aren't the same height. They're similar wood, but they're not really aesthetically correct with each other. But, you know, budgets be budgets. Um, that room hasn't been done, so this is what the rooms actually look like when you go into them the first time. You know stuff that's almost certainly bad for health in the air the whole place is a dump we'll get there someday that one's not done yet um and this was the batch or this is the bachelorette room so idea straightforward bachelorette party oh that that one lost its color that one that's so weird so this couch used to match that couch hang on let's fix that what was your pattern again? There you go. That's the ticket. There we go. Like, it's a different different pattern, but, you know. That's weird that I just, like, forgot what color it was supposed to be. But yeah, this is the bachelorette, so you, like, have champagne even by, like, the bathtub and the toilet. You know, it's, it's bachelorette party. Half these people aren't going to be able to walk when they leave. Uh, but you get the idea. I get lots of tips from the bachelorette room. Which I find not at all surprising, but kind of funny that it actually works that way. 
And now we go up to the second floor, which we only got towards the end of stream yesterday. I'm turning on our music because the in-game music is basically being dead. He went, Psst, I've heard there's a supervillain rampaging somewhere in the city. I can't risk using my usual safe house and need to, a place to stay until I can take him down. All I need is some basic equipment, nothing that distracts me. Better if you don't ask questions. The same floor. Yeah, it depends on... I want... Okay, there we go. It depends on... The way a lot of hotels and that keep track of their floors here in the U.S. versus in a lot of places in Europe is different. Um, some will have a floor zero, some won't. So, like, there's... Ho oh, I need to get... One second, I gotta deal with it. I'm not getting the other people's stuff done because I keep getting events are like, you need to take care of this in, like, ten minutes. That, yeah, that music feels like too much for this game. All right, one second. We're going to turn up the music a little bit in this game. Okay. But yeah, so it's just the way um the way different places keep their floors. Like in a lot of hotels here in the US, you won't have a floor 1. You'll have ground 2 3 4 5 6. Uh see so one room 103. Which is dirty. Okay. You want two TVs, but I already have a TV. And party teddies. Okay. I'll bite. Where are the party teddies? Do these count as party teddies? They do. Vlad's gonna be upset about this room. Not really. I don't think Vlad cares. But... Feels weird. Oh. Good. It did count though. I was about to say, man, I have to put three in here. That's what I'm going at. That TV would not survive long. It's a very humid place. Cool. But that satisfied that guest. So now back up to the second floor. That is one thing, is it feels like your ability to make progress on like the main stuff kind of gets slowed down a lot, and I believe it's a deliberate decision. It gets slowed down a lot by the events. Um, on the upside, is it felt like it's getting just the same two events again and again and again before. Um, but it does seem like as you progress the story, they have more and more events, which has the added bonus of kind of mixing up what you're dealing with. But every time you're hearing that bing bing is it's telling me that um it's updating quest objectives. Okay, so you want minimalistic furniture and shades of white and black. I mean I'll probably lean more into the white because honestly every one of these places has wanted tons of black. Alright. So I feel like this should be the bedroom. So bedroom, I don't know what this room is gonna be. You have a heckin' big place here. Well, okay. There's not a door there. We don't... Alright, so this might be the bathroom. This is going to be, like, the master bedroom. This is going to be, like, just the main room. I don't know, like a den ki kind of thing, and then another bathroom, maybe? Because it's a big, big space here. All right, well, first of all, I think that's what we're doing. So we're going to start by tiling the floor here. Not that. So you want... 
Yeah, that's what I was going to say. The problem is there's no door here. That's the only issue. So, I don't really have a good way of separating out the second bedroom. Not unless I can add a door. Because if I can add a door here, then I agree. Make this a bedroom, make that a second bathroom. Um, I could make this a second bedroom. But then you got that whole awkwardness of you have to, like, cut through someone's room to get to the bathroom. Hang some cool hanging beads. Um, I don't think we've had hanging beads yet. If we get hanging beads, I wouldn't be against it. We just did that. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna go down there and it be the same thing. Yeah, that's just her thing, is it's like, every every other day she get, does it. I mean, she paid good money, so I'm not gonna say no. This elevator's a little slow. Which, this is a load screen, if you didn't gather what's happening here. That's actually the reason why it takes so long, is it is loading as much of the textures as it can before stuff happens. Alright, is it gonna be a different room this time? It is. Wait, what was that in the corner? Oh, right. Um, you know what? There we go. Maybe use a room divider? Yeah, we'll see. Um, so she was previously in... Oh, it's F. Um, I wish I could just undo that. Alright. Of course. Which room was she staying in before? Because I don't feel like getting a bowl and all that for every room. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was here. Let's grab her little dog thing. Run it all the way down the hallway. You want in 102? Oh, 102 is this one. All right. Oh, went too far. The running in this is a little weird because you move way faster than you'd anticipate. Cool. All right. And she mentioned... A portrait being on the front desk the last time so we'll see what that's about oh yeah and the name of our hotel is oh hi there with a winky face I sold it I already have one actually I have two okay now, if people would stop bothering me for two seconds, I might be able to finish a room. But yeah, it's like I was saying, this is a loading screen, because uh, they're unloading and reloading textures. I do think the game might have a memory leak. We started knowing as we played longer and longer yesterday. Like, by the end of the uh, stream, it was getting pretty pokey. But um, it took a long time to get there, so it's probably not that bad. Anyways, did I even get the floor down? No, I didn't even get the floor down. All right. I can live with that for a bathroom. It's a little busy, but you know, that's okay. It's definitely not minimalistic. Luckily, 
the paint and all that doesn't have consideration for that. Eh. Uh, like a white marble? Oh, that one's... I missed a spot. Oh, that hasn't been cleaned off. That's the problem. All right. Now I need to do the floor again because we missed that spot. I'll need to get the broom. All right, for the ceiling, I have to use paint. It's the only thing that's let us use this whole time. That's not what I wanted, but I did it anyways. Um, all right, that'll be a whole thing we got to deal with. And let's fix that real fast. A bad feeling to fix. I'm gonna have to just. Yeah, we have to delete that one spot. And sweep up. Okay, so we've got the first room. Very sterile in here. Oh, I missed a spot here too. the record do that ceiling do that ceiling do that ceiling do that ceiling do this one do here do there oh, there's any more windowsills that we have to actually worry about painting Just checking with odd shaped rooms, a lot of times we'll leave gaps that don't get painted. Okay, so we got the paint on the ceiling up. Because I can't imagine I could do too much with that where they want it to be white. Oh, here. Gone. Okay, so we have the bedroom. Is there a carpet we want? I haven't done it. Let's do a carpet in this room, maybe. Oh yeah, I hate this carpet. I hate this carpet with a fiery passion. It's fine. It mostly only hurts on the inside. Nope. Don't like it. fine. It's fine. Okay. So the bedroom's not going to be that. Ah, uh, is it going to be that? No, it's it's not. Is there another carpet? I don't I don't think I want another one. Okay, luckily there's not other good carpet to s options. Um but what we might be able to do that's not shabby looking I mean the whole place looks sterile as all get out because everything is white but you know All right, so we've got we got some flooring figured out. I hate how that doesn't line up. Just don't look at it. It's fine.
I keep switching my stuff because my brain has forgotten which tools I want to do for what. That's not what I need. I need flooring. Put the wood part. Okay. So she pays a bunch of money and all that. It's fine. All right. So I need to think about the wall of the bedroom. Um. Gradient. I don't think I want to make the whole place look marble. The panels aren't going to have white and all that. I don't think I want to tile the wall. Oh, that's a mirrored wall. Okay. Probably doesn't count as white, though. Yeah, someone doesn't have a black and white, unfortunately. At least not that I'm seeing. I do kind of wish instead of the scroll thing, like, you can have the scroll thing. I do kind of wish there was also options that would be, like, a filter. So when you're like, does this count as black? I could just type in black and it would only show the things that qualify. Oh. I mean, it's locked, so I can't use it. I was like, that one would have worked. Alright, so not feeling that one. What about the graphics? Sure, we can do... I mean, I guess that probably doesn't count as black and white. Alright. Well. Just make the whole place marble. Make the whole place just seem the most sterile and uninviting place you can imagine. Use this in the main room. There's so much about this design I don't care for. You could actually make this not bad by putting like lots of like accenting art or stuff on it. Like, you know, do stuff with the space in that manner. But, I mean, come on. Oh, this is upsetting. Double check our rooms, make sure ceilings are all actually painted. Cool. So now I need to do the bedroom. I guess we're just gonna go with this for the theming of the whole place. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> Ah, yes. We walk into our wonderful apartment of, um, well, I mean hotel room, uh, which comes in white. Just white. We do apologize that I cannot make the doors also lack in color, but, you know, sorry. There are limitations to our power. Alright, so we got the bathroom still. Uh, we'll use tile in here. I need to do the floor.
you really nailed it this time. What what did I nail? What did I do? All right, I don't know what I'm getting credit for, but like, you know, I'm not against getting credit for it. Okay, so we've got everything all handled there. So now it's furniture time. So first up is the bed. And again, <laughs> this is the devoid of color room. That is not a bed, that is a couch. All right, you want minimalist. Okay, luckily that does qualify as minimalist. So we're going to need to change the pattern. There's something that goes with the weird wood pattern we have in here. That's fine. In real life, I wouldn't want this to be so crowded up on those doors, but I don't think there's another pos Well, actually, hang on. One moment, what I might be able to do... That's a little better. This room is definitely not suited for that big bed, but that's okay. All right, now I need cabinets. Hey, I'm Goblin, how's it going? Put that there. Um, we'll take this. Put that there. I know it says white and black, but I'm just going with this place to be like, alright, you know what you're getting? You want to have boring furniture? Congratulations. You get boring furniture. <laughs> really not room for a second place in here. The bathroom's gonna have its own requirements. Hmm. All right, so again, there's a desk. You are a musician, so I do feel like... Can I put the desk alongside the piano? Cool. You know what? Let's put the piano in this room, actually. I'm going to assume you'll want to entertain people. That's not a blank pattern. Okay. This would be a terrible 
chair for playing the piano. Oh, you want four chairs. Um, all right, I hadn't planned for that. Um, all right, let's get a little bit of sunlight here. That'll be like a TV room over here. I guess for right now I'm just gonna put two of them over here by the window. I'll put like a little table between them or something. We'll figure it out. We'll see what else we need. Uh, so the proper couch. You want that style. That'll work for me. Two hundred forty for a chair. Oh, I mean, when you're talking like chairs are supposed to be like properly nice, yeah, they get pricey. Like nine hundred for a large sofa that's actually supposed to be like a designer sofa kind of thing. It's like okay, that's actually not a terrible price. At the same time, is it a price I personally would want to pay? No. Oh, you're the super glossy one. Alright, so I need to find the white fabric. You don't match. Still don't match. There you go, that matches. All right. Now I need to do the tables, and you want this style. Such a weird table. I take it from looking nice to sterile. All right. I need two of these. Hmm. But the best I can think for this, one like that. Yeah, like this. So it's like kind of staged around the piano. That's what I'm going for. I don't know if it's working, but. Oh, excellent. We're gonna put a big old rug somewhere in this place let's put it right there 
and then he has little design going on as possible or something like just geometric or whatever. I quit snapping all over the place. Too much color. They want this to be as minimalistic as possible. All right, different design. I was kind of hoping to get just like flat color. I think they'll have to do. Okay, we got a carpet. Now I need a cupboard. That's not the right design. It has to be perfect. No personality to speak of. Put another one in here. Fortunately, they're all so huge. All right, and finally some shelves. Ah, I see, I get a choice of that one or that one. That one has less personality. Uh, we can make it even less. That's right. Perfect. No color. White on white. Just as we want. So I put that there. Put one up here. Put one over the desk. And one up there. All right, bathroom time. So the bath the bathtubs don't have a you know official style to them. Such a weird. Like I can do where they're um. Wow, you are all super glossy. Sure. Um. That didn't satisfy it. Why did that not satisfy it? Okay, so make the bathroom over here. We'll do. We'll make it our bathroom there. It's just a thing. I decided as like, okay, we're changing the floor plan a little bit of this place. Okay, this is a slightly smaller one just because we can fit in there. It feels more correct. Actually, it shouldn't be on that wall because that's probably where you put your sink. Okay. Yeah, it opens that way. All right. Um, cool. I have to have two of these. What was that pinging? I have no idea what the pinging was. All right, so. Get our decoration. These don't have much of a color to them, so that's fine. So we have our towels by the sink. We 
get over toilet paper. That satisfies that need. He does have lots of towels. Okay. So, even though we're technically satisfied the quality, like with what's occurred in there, um, we are going to make a second bathroom here. It wasn't going to let me count that bathroom, like stuff I put in here for the bathroom, which is kind of a bummer. I get why it is, it's just doing a check for it there. But, um, it's still kind of a bummer. Actually, put that in that wall. It's right at the door. Um, interesting that I just like forgot what my color settings were. Basically, I'm making two bathrooms that satisfy the same criteria, even though it's just not necessary. And more towels, more towels. He's never gonna have too many towels. Okay, cool. Um, so I've gotta add six decorations. Thanks so much for everyone who's been tuning in, who's been lurking, tank, following, subscribing, and doing the bits, host, donos, and the raids. Helps, I really do appreciate it. I do hope you have been enjoying the stream. Yeah, so I got all these, like, really fancy things. Candles. Excellent. We have a need for art. To be the most personality we show the entire time in this place. So have that painting there. That's interesting. I can't put it there. I guess because the door would be there. So what is the least interesting plant we can come up with? Perfect. Put the lilies on top of there. And over here, I need lamps. So you need to get a couple lamps. One back there. One over here. One right there. Wall lights. Put one there for a hallway light. Put one over that sink. And put one over this sink. And we need ceiling lights. Uh, 
Okay, we can put this center room here. Center room there. Center room there. And mirrors. Oh yeah, standalone mirror. Fancy doing a standalone mirror for this person. Oh, in that bathroom. Go in there. And tech. He's a composer. It's not like a concept of a laptop or whatever. That's fine. Alright, but before we go out that special, this is your actual composing room. The guitar in here. You already have a piano in the other room. I can get a hay bale? Okay, hang on. Wait, is there is there books? Uh, like music books. Like there's books. We already know that. Like there's um there's books in this. I wanna know if there's a book that would be suited for music. Because I feel like we'll add a couple extra little fluff things on here. If we can get some that fits. Where are there's the books. Those are all old school stuff. That was what we're looking for. Non specific. Traveler. Non specific. Interior design. Interior design. Interior design. Who knows? Fish. Art. We've got our start of our book collection. Gardening. Even though it's like fashion or whatever, we'll put that in the desk. Yeah, we'll add incense. Why not? Okay, good enough. Um, alright, so is there anything I need to do still here? I think this room's done. Alright, so get our before and after. Cool. Alright, so we have suspicious activity down there. If the chicken gonna play dice, we're going to just ignore it. Have I told you already you're a born interior designer? This is a masterpiece. You haven't told me that, and I disagree. That room can be disguised decide you know, described as white. <laughs> Was the room? White. Just white. No colors allowed. 
I don't want to play dice with a chicken. Fine. You just sit there and I'm going to have the thing on the side of my screen until I do it. Okay. I notice the cube position itself the same way every time. Ah, I didn't quite get it the angle right that time. Congratulations, you won. I don't feel like a winner. Uh, we still haven't found any of the instruments. Let's check the lobby and do a quick walk around. It should be too hard to see. Like, most of our instruments are very large. Well, that's lovely, having who knows what growing off of that. I feel like well let's let's we'll double check the first floor. Hey hey, crossover. Yeah, people just not grabbing that first. That's a that's happened a couple times lately. All right, we're seeing if we can't figure out where the, uh, the musical instruments are. Yep, yeah, Burning Sun. Noah grabbed the first for over an hour and 15 minutes. But a couple streams, that kind of thing's happened. People just assume it's gone, and then, you know, they don't get it. I'm curious, there's probably a specific place that we're going to find these instruments. Like, maybe they're all going to... Oh, he already walked in this room. Oh, interesting. Alright, so... That means... Uh, so just for people to know, Burning Sun saying, Why well, logged did I checked in? You know, and it wasn't there. That yeah, doesn't surprise me. That seems like the Twitch kind of thing to do. Thank you, Crossover E, for subscribing for two months. Have I told you already? Be on. A born interior designer. This is a masterpiece. Thank Crossover E for the Prime Gaming sub. You only get one of those a month. I use it here, and I really do appreciate that support. It means a lot. I do hope you're enjoying your advertisement viewing, advertisement free viewing, as well as uh, access to the emotes. So thank you so much for the continued support. It really does mean a lot. All right. Am I going to find it's in one of these rooms? You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to sit here and do the design for these rooms right now. But just when you get these quests that are like, go find the thing.
That's what I said. I shame myself. I'm watching you for two years. I don't think I've technically been streaming two years, but I have been streaming over a year and a half. I get the sentiment, though. Like, you've been watching for a long time. You've been around. Actually, what is the first day I streamed? How long have I been streaming? Give me one second. We can find this out. We can, uh, because I actually have it on the channel in the about section because I'm suddenly curious how long. So my first stream was July 2021. Yeah, so I'm not quite at two years. Yeah, it's July 27th, 2021 was my very first stream. So yeah, we're, we're past a year and a half. You're following you since January 12th, 2021? Does something have a date wrong? Oh, oh, oh. Gotcha. Yeah, here in the US we do month, day, year. Which is objectively wrong. Like, I'm not saying what you're using is right. I am saying what we're using is wrong. Oh yeah, no, that's absolutely. That's to say, it's a hecking long time, no matter how you look at. It. All right. And I really appreciate it. It does mean a lot. Like, you know, not everyone can sub. Not everyone like has the uh, discretionary currency to do it, or wants to. You know, there are people who definitely don't want to support Amazon, which. You know, fair. Like, and all that kind of stuff. Totally get it. But, like, just tuning in all that. I'm always losing sleep. Sleeping time for you? Well, I mean, don't hurt yourself or anything. But I really do appreciate that, you know, people tune in and all that. Like, if people didn't show up, I wouldn't be able to keep doing this whole time. Them's are the economics. I do know a ton of people fall asleep to the stream. Okay. Like, it's just... It's just their ritual. It gets close to bedtime, they tune in. I also know there's a bunch of people who use the, um, the end of my stream as effectively bedtime. That when I wrap the stream, that's when they head to bed. Yeah, most of the time I fell, fell asleep while watching you. Gotcha. I mean, it's designed to be a chill vibe and all that. Alright, so we haven't seen any of the music goes rich. One of our guests lost her wallet and needs some help searching for it. Apparently there's a big sum of money at stake. For instance, like, that's me, so quit running along. But I get into stuff. To be fair, it <laughs> it's a problem for me just as much. When it's like, I just want to wrap up the one thing. And, you know, an hour goes by. Um, please tell me you're- okay. Like, please tell me you're still loading in. Alright, so we're gonna check there. That's where the wallet was the second time. The first time is over here. It's not there now. Get out of here with your chihuahua. I already got two of those in this place. Stop painting your dog. There it is. Yeah, one more time. When also, what happens so much is because of how late I go, is that I'll get to the end of stream and then someone will drop like a raid of 100 people on me. And that's kind of go time when you're a streamer. It's like, oh, like this is a big raid. This is an opportunity for me to, you know, get myself in a bunch of eyeballs that don't normally see me and, you know, promote channel growth. So you kind of feel like, okay, this is, you know. It's like if you were playing a in musical instrument at a place and someone drops in there and drops like 200 bucks in your bin, they're like, hey, 
you know, you keep playing and there's more to come. All right, well, it's supposed to wrap like 15 minutes ago, but if this is what's on the line, I'm going to keep playing. <laughs> Or like if you're out doing some type of like portraits or whatever for for people and then you have like a line show up it's like all right well this is this is go time this is not something i can count on or rely on hey nirda how's it going all right so i need to use 204 as the next room so yeah, this floor has way fewer bigger rooms. All right, before we do that, I can't go in here. Interesting. Oh, I am a huge fan of this guy. He is the total style freak. And in one interview, he said he is inspired by fire. So how about some red or yellow colors in his room? Okay. Red and yellow. Oh man, we're making a gaudy room, aren't we? Like, there's nothing inherently wrong with those colors. But I have a feeling a lot of those colors together are going to be, like, bright red and bright yellow. It is going to be, um... It is going to be very bright. In fire, but it's by fire in our own rundown hotel, fully completely not flammable trash. Yeah, where we have everyone. So if he's inspired by fire, we should have candles, right? Like we all agree, the man needs candles. Of course, then he actually gets here, he's like, oh my god, I did that interview, like, it was kind of a cool thing, but no, seriously, stop giving me fire. Like, it's not, not the big thing. I've heard of that kind of thing happening a lot with, like, famous people, where they'll mention once something, that, like, just kind of in passing, that wasn't, like, that big a deal, but people hear about it, and then... Everyone kind of does it. Uh, Ra, are you gonna are you going to play Contraband Police in the future? So I have requested a key for it. I have not received one. If I do get a key for it, I will absolutely play it. For those who aren't familiar with Contraband um, Police, it's kind of like you're not you're not like a passport checkpoint in the sense that you're like trying to do the papers, please check the documentation kind of thing. Um, rather, they pull up in their vehicle, you get their, I don't know if it's driver's license, passport, or whatever, um, and you have to start, like, you know, looking over their vehicle, looking to see if they're trying to smuggle anything into, I don't know if it's your country, your city, or whatever, you get the idea. You're basically searching for people who are trying to, uh, to sneak things through that they're not supposed to. But apparently they get really elaborate about it, too. I think I saw it was, um, was it Cringer I saw? playing it because none of those games that like at first glance I'm like I don't know about this game um but then after seeing someone like messing I was like no seriously I should play this which I'll often you play games like this time. like I'll often play games that I'm not super sure about but um, I do try to avoid games that I'm looking at the game like, this is seriously going to be garbage. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's supposed to be Papers, Please-esque. Like, it is, it is a checkpoint. But um, it's mostly about, like, investigating the car and all that, making sure, you know, people aren't sneaking stuff by, which is still going to be fun. I'm not sure if there's um, a time limit on stuff either. Like, I don't, I don't know if there's that pressure. Because I like even when I tune into like a game, I'm debating whether or not I play. I, you'll usually only watch like 10, 15 minutes, just enough to get like a good feel for. Okay, is this a game that, like. 
actually is a good fit or not. You saw a picture you have to check papers? Gotcha, cool. Yeah, I try to not spoil myself too much on the games. It's like what you said is fine. But I try to not spoil myself too much on games because I do like when I play a game for the first time to give people an authentic first impression, be like, this is like me figuring it out kind of thing. And I do know some people find that kind of annoying where like you end up wandering around in circles trying to figure something out because you just don't know what you don't know kind of thing. But um, I think it's good because there's a lot of times where games have pain points that once you've played the game for a while, you know, you learn your way around the pain point or you kind of learn to ignore the pain point. Um, versus when, you know, you're playing it like live and stream, people like see you struggle with whatever the pain point is and you can be like, hey, like this is problematic, like there isn't a way for me in the game experience to figure out what's going on. Um, we apparently missed a floor. Here we are. I'm still very much looking forward to getting the dynamite. My understanding of dynamite is I walk into a room and I just huck it in the air. And I'm motioning because I'm used to having the camera on, so you're not seeing it. But I just, like, huck it in the air and it just nukes everything in the room. Alright, so, red, orange, and yellow. So, any color... You're seeing an unusual complaint. If I understand correctly, something is broken in one of the rooms. It's the chicken. Okay. I appreciate the tips. All right. It's it's just an interesting game aesthetic to uh custom make the rooms for everyone. Be like, I'm making a hotel room, but I'm also making it for a particular individual. Okay, so I need to cover all the walls. Um, I'm trying to remember. This was a bathroom here, and this way over here was also a bathroom, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's definitely a bathroom, considering there's still towels on the wall. So we start here. Uh, bu bu um... So you want red, yellow, and orange. You are going to be a really bright and obnoxious bathroom. Alright, so next up so there's, I don't imagine a way we can get wood flooring that has red, yellow, and orange. I mean, I don't have to get all three colors. Let's see what we can pull off. I hate that. Oh, I hate that carpet so much. That is a hideous carpet. No, I can't. I can't make myself do it. It'll 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 meet their needs. I can't do it. You like this floor? Yeah, I think this floor is fine. It's very vibrant. Now the carpets, I have been generally 
really unhappy with the, most of the carpets. Not in a they're not realistic way. They are realistically. I like That's a little better. Oh, you're so bright. You are so bright. I'm going to need you to tone it down about 30 notches. Also, Indonesia vibe? Uh, actually, I have no idea about Indonesia one way or the other. Okay, so we floored successfully. I say relatively speaking. My god, it almost hurts to look at the floor. It's so bright. Is there a good, really bright graphic we can put on the wall? Eh, that's still got a lot of green going on. Please tell me there's some, like... Ah, that's... Alright. What about the fishies? So yeah, the requirement is it needs to be yellow, orange, and or red. Uh, I mean, that's more pink. Oh yeah, the Halloween wallpaper. It, like, I'll do it again, but it's a shame I've already used it. Ah yes, the forest fire. <laughs> it's a starry night. That is a forest fire is what that is. Alright, so I think this is our bedroom. There's a Halloween one. Okay, so I think those are good for there. It's interesting that that one's a wallpaper, while the other ones are graphics. I thought there was one in here that was orange and red. Oh, orange and yellow, that's still good enough. I can see it for the bathroom. Do an accent wall in this bathroom and do the same thing in the other bathroom. I was copying the bathrooms from one side to the other. Okay. Shame you can't request a room. That could be a fun thing that you could do, like, with a game like, like this. That, um... Once you get farther along, like, you're just kind of going through the game. Open up to, like, chat to be like, you know, get your own room kind of thing. None of those are going to work. The panels aren't going to work. Ceramics. I don't think we want ceramics. Yeah. We'll have to see what happens when we get to a point where we're not seeing um new people show up. Okay, so we have extraordinary orange, red, and yellow. So, I think you know how I'm going to do this. So, this is the yellow room. They have four rooms, right? Yeah. This 
When we're against Lobster Watt, I'll deal with that. What? This is the light orange room. Like the yellowish orange room. Oh, this room is so bright, my god. I hate it. Here's the actual orange room. Don't need to turn on the lights. The room itself is bright enough. Yeah, sunshine yellow. Straight directly staring into the sun yellow. There's the red room. Do we have a much deeper red, maybe? There we go. That's the same red. Alright, um... See, we can't get a different red. Ah, Ruby's not quite right. All right I guess we just have a red bathroom too. It's fine. The orange is all painted, the light orange is all painted, the bright yellow is all painted. Make sure you get rid of those lights because I missed a couple. Alright, I figured that was going to happen. All right, well, not gonna lie, not a fan of this place. Oh, I'm gonna need to change the carpet color, aren't I? Having the same yellow carpet go through the whole place doesn't really work. Like, I want the old carpet, but I'm going to keep it to, um... Alright. Alright, so I've got the yellow carpet. That's a bit more in the orange. And a bit more in the red. It's still not going to look great, but at least some variance. Yeah, so it goes yellow, red, redder. It's fine. I don't like it. Don't look straight at it. It's fine. The guy's going to come into this place like, what have you done? What have you made? Why would you do this? Huh, I wonder why... Alright, let's go find that wallet. I wonder why, um... It says Celine's room isn't ready. Because he already did Celine's room earlier. Okay. This room's a straight-up nightmare.
Our hotel rating is skyrocketing, by the way. Because it was like 4-something, and now it's at 9.3. Which is probably just us cleaning up those hallways. Alright, so checking. There was a wild here once. Then it was over here. Then we had it there. Like, it does seem like all it does is it just randomly positions it on top of something. And it might have a height limit on how high it can go. Why are you putting your wallet on top of my lamp? Can't I can't see where the button is. There you go. Alright, so let's peek into Celine's room and see why suddenly it's not qualifying as done. Because it should be done. We did that way, way earlier. Oh, somehow we've got the game fast forwarding. There we go. We don't want to fast forward. That just means more events. Okay, I just won't ask questions. It's fine. You really nailed it this time. Did I? All right. So, still wants fire. Uh, first off, we need the bed. You don't have a preference in style, so I'm going to use something else style-wise. Just because we've been using the same bed for a while. Alright, is there one of these that gives me a lot of opportunity for fire? Well, none of these patterns scream anything fire-like. Maybe if we can get some really exotic colors on this one. Oranges and reds. Purple doesn't really work with it. Uh, I live with it. Oh, well, let me put it there. Um, good enough. And you want a bunch of cabinets? You don't have preference in the style either. Come on, tell me and get bright colors. No, can't. Well, that's a bummer. It basically means I'm not going to be able to do a lot with that. All right, we'll give you a desk. Oh no, that's right. We get a we get a better desk later. Um. All right, so let's see. Let's see if we can get anything in the realm of red out of this. It's like almost a peach. It's kind of orange, more of a brown, but maybe we get stuck going with. I think that's best we're gonna do. So put one there. Put one there. Put one there. Um, be a different one. It's too big for that space. I'll put one here too. All right. Okay, so now it's time for our table. And that's as thinking as we can put this here. And go for that same reddish color. 
It's not really red. Why can't I put that there? Oh, there's a cobweb on the wall. Check if they are cobwebs. I keep part of the hesitancy of doing this, and I can't tell exactly what part of it's considered the cobweb. I keep worrying I'm just gonna smash holes in my wall everywhere. Go with that in a moment. Okay. I wish there was a tool for cleaning the cobwebs that didn't involve me smacking them with a crowbar. Uh, that's actually... You know what? That actually brings up a question. If we switch to our... Alright, so that sticks to the ground. That won't go up. Yeah, so it's only on the ground. That's kind of what I figured. That they had a assigned tool for the job. But it would have been nice to, like, take the broom with them. What kind of spider do you have that you need a crowbar to remove the webs? Hey. The titanium spiders are a big deal. I saw, like, one of the little fluffy things that floats in the air when the rooms are dirty. I saw one of those coming off of the spider web, and I was like, wait, are you making the spider web actively as I'm standing here? So much gross particle in the air. Okay, so I believe I've got all that. Now I've been distracted. So let's try again to put down the desk. That's what I thought. So the spider web was in the way. What about the other direction? Oh, you match you already match, so drop you there. I need four of them. We'll try and make like a game night kind of table thing there. Um couches. We haven't done anything in this kind of style yet. You got anything that can pass as fire-like? That could be smoke. Oh, perfect. All right, we got some redemptions for posture check and hydrate and stretch and all that. So thank you so much for that, Chaos. Hey, awesome. we have a problem. Our elevator's jammed. What do we do? Uh, I'll do those here in just a minute because we got about five minutes to the ad break. So what I can do then is at the ad break, I'll start marbles on stream and I'll do all that stuff, which is part of the things I'm hoping for uh, the long ad breaks to do. And we fix the elevator. The only way we know how. We hit it with a crowbar and it all gets better. I dislike half the rooms that I have to make thematic. Because they end up being so bright.
And again, we'll see what we got for pattern to look vaguely fire-esque. Because apparently this guitarist fire... Eh, I can live with that. Fire is their, um... Their muse, I guess, of that. I was saying, hey, Roll, this looks like fun. A little bit like House Fever? Yeah, it's got a, um... It's got, like, an overarching thing going on as well. Um, that House Flipper really doesn't have. Like, you're running the hotel and all that. Um, on top of that, it's got some... It's got some more silly stuff that House Flipper doesn't really have an equivalent of. Um, so that's kind of actually fun about it. I'll put one of them here. Like, this person wants their room to be... Fi like, fire-inspired kind of thing. Hence why everything is so obnoxiously bright. So incredibly obnoxiously bright. But, um... A lot of fun. Alright, let's see what we can do. So can I get anything vaguely red or orange? It's just brown. Oreo, I'm doubting we'll have it because it's a wood pattern. Yeah, I'm personally not a fan of the color scheme going on here, but that's okay. Everyone has different tastes. Yeah, I was saying the same. It's like this is very bright. All right, so where are we putting some shelves? Um, start with a bedroom. Put two pairs of shelves above the desk. The bathrooms are their own things. So we're gonna leave that alone right now. Put one. We'll we'll probably put art there. Uh, we'll put two in here as well. That satisfies that need. Um, so now it wants me to go work on the bathrooms, and we had a bathroom here and a bathroom over here. So we grab our bathtub. Hmm, how do I want to fit that? There we go. Oh, can I make you anything remotely bright colored? Thanks, not a fan. I may like the other the color orange a lot, but I am not too proud to say I accept the fact that the color orange is not a good answer for certain interior design. Um Interesting that that didn't maintain the color. It's fine. So I'm popping into both bathrooms, one after the other. Hmm. Put that shower there, run to the other side of the house. And where am I going to wedge you in? That's fine. Alright, so we're going to stop for just a moment, because we're about to get hit with an ad break. You can tell by the thing on the top of the screen going down. Um, and that's literally what I see on my end. So what we go ahead and do is we're going to take two seconds, we're going to hit escape here, we're going to start our music, because we're going to pull up this, and we're going to bring up marbles on stream for a moment, because this is what we've been doing, why is that, there it goes, this is what we've been doing for these ad breaks, because what I can do is I can go race, do a random track, race, um, and this is just the thing we've been doing, because Twitch ads be how Twitch ads be, so you don't miss out on any of the actual action. Uh, so you go ahead and put this up here. You can type exclamation mark play into the channel to get yourself added. Um, I can add myself as well. But um, you go ahead and do this. It's just a fun little thing we can do. That way, you know, while the ad break is happening, no one misses anything. So this is the one thing you'll notice in the top right where it says adding start soon or add start soon. That's the thing that throws off my timing is because even though it's technically every hour, there's a delay from when it's, like, due to the actual ad starting, which means I can't just set a timer to go every hour. Because that, that, like, that little, that little, however long that sits there on the adding, ad start soon, is, like, time that is, like, free time. Where you're not watching an ad and you're not getting stuck. Yeah, so now you can see, for those who aren't stuck in an ad right now, that's what you'll see where I, like, where people complain about the ads taking longer and all that. I can very tell you exactly how long they take. All right, so let's go. 
I got about halfway through my stretches. I'm going to try and sneak them in while this is going on. Um, which I will pop back and forth. I need to find, there's probably a button for following, like just having it follow whichever marble is in the lead at all times. Because getting a bunch of that stuff would be would be helpful. Or like a cinematic camera where it jumps between people. Like, I don't care exactly how it works. But that'd be nice. Yeah, so thank you so much for everyone who's been tuning in, has been lurking, chatting, following, subscribing to the bits, hosts, the donos, and the raids. It all helps, and I really do hope you appreciate it. But I really do appreciate it. I, my brain. I really do appreciate it. I hope you're appreciating the content, but, you know, the support, you know, I appreciate. <laughs> Looks like I have taken the lead, according to it. That said, these things can ruin you. Yeah, so I'm going to get knocked in circles for a while. Oh, no, actually, I broke out pretty quick. The long claws taking the lead, taking the high road. And it says long claws lead, even though I distinctly see a marble ahead of them. So I'm not sure how that works. Like, there's clearly a marble, like, all the way up in that, like, red forest thing. So I don't understand... Like, that marble ahead is probably going to fall in before you get there. Um. Yeah, Flute Shade, it's like literally just a two-minute break while the ads are playing, and then we'll be back at the Hotel Renovator. Well, that was a pretty fast round. I don't think we have enough time to do a second round. But yeah, so we have in first, we have The Escape. Second, we have Long Claw. Then we have Federica. Then we have Myself. Cross Ovary and Stan the Man. Stan the Man and Cross Ovary did not finish. They got wiped out. So, nice. And what will end up happening is later we'll uh, break out on our track. So, in the meantime, we're going to hide that again. we still got about 30 seconds left on the ad break. But yeah, so I'm trying to do that to keep something going during the ad break. So that people, like, aren't missing out on actual content. Now, granted, with this game, you're probably not missing that much. If, like, you miss any specific mode, it's not like there's, um, jump scares or deaths or anything or massive losses of progress, at least not that I've seen of any kind. But, um, like, you can imagine, like, Project Zomboid, if I'm in a run that I put hundreds of hours in and the ad hits and I die during the ad, like, I get dragged down during the ad, that would suck. So, yeah. Alright, and the ad break is over. So, we got another whole hour until the next ad break, which that three minutes is part of the hour, unfortunately. Okay, so let's turn off that music again and get our toilets in here. Oh wait, let's see if we can make you... Yup. You didn't see ads? Don't complain about it. Don't let them know. Don't let them know. Uh, there's lots of reasons you can go where you don't end up seeing ads. Um, if uh, if Twitch hasn't gotten any ads from, like any, any companies or whatever, paying for ads from that place, wherever you're at, that can be one thing. Um, ad blockers can be another thing. Um, if you're subbed, that's obviously a thing that'll prevent it. Twitch Turbo prevents it. There's tons of ways to get away with no ads. And if it just doesn't work, uh, that is a thing that, you know, we can just not let Twitch know about to fix it. You only had 30 second ads? Yeah, so the way the ads work also is where you see when on the top right, where you see where the countdown is, the next ad break. Um, it'll show you that's like three minutes counting down. That's the maximum amount of ads you can get in the break. Um, you can get significantly less. And that's like, as intended. Uh, long as, well, I think the bathroom stuff in the top right showing, um, is what you need across the hotel room. Uh, right? I think it just need, uh, one jar. Yeah, I only need to actually do one of the bathrooms. Um, I'm doing it for like personal aesthetic. But yeah, you are you are correct that like I don't actually need to do all of what I'm doing. 
I'm just setting up because there was two bathrooms here to begin with. I'm setting up the two bathrooms as well. Hi, it's just Jess. How's it going? All right. Oh, actually, cool. I was like, what am I going to put for the second one? But because it is counting both bathrooms, it's fine. All right, so toilet flapper. Or not toilet flapper, toilet paper. Toilet paper. Technically all we need. All right. Um, hmm, I didn't make actually a good place of towels. Yeah, put the towels directly below the sink. That way you can get your towels soaking wet before you need to dry your hands. Just got done. You know, the fam? First time in like five years? Nice. I'm actually um visiting the family tomorrow. It's kind of a it's kind of a thing that's I'm not sure I want to address because I'm visiting them for helping with my dad. Uh, he's got he's got serious health stuff going on. Um but I'm visiting him to like help with that. But um that's also where I'm intending that evening to be my like birthday stream or whatever. Technically my birthday is on the day off. But um figure we'll just pretend like tomorrow's the actual day. I don't actually have any plans for it, other than it's, you know, a birthday stream. I don't know. I don't know what to do for your art, man. Is... Oh, they actually have weather effects? I never noticed. Okay. That's cool. Ah, orange. They, uh, sure. They were like, yellows, oranges, and red. Oranges. Excellent. We have delivered the oranges. Put some wine glasses here. And there, satisfying that. There's something about putting... So this is actually a starry night thing that we just filtered it to have, like, reds and yellows. So it looks... it That looks like a forest fire to me. Like, legit just a forest fire. And there's something unsettling about putting a bunch of parrots in paintings on top of a forest fire. But I think I'm gonna go ahead. It's actually really hard to position the glass, like, stuff on the table well. Yeah, I can see it looking just trippy as well. Yeah, there's gonna be one of these. I've already satisfied the requirements, but putting a little bit extra can help. The shame there isn't one that's like fire pattern or whatever. That's fine. Um, so I need plants. Do we have any yellow, red, or orange plants? We should. Those are very common colors in plants, uh, in flowers specifically. That's pink. That's pink. Pinkish red. That's a maybe. There. Yellow flowers. Table plays miniatures, flashbacks to Skyrim plays games. Yup. Um. Let's put them there and there. That feels for the aesthetic. Having a bunch of like little yellow flowers in here feels off. All right, so we're gonna have the red light. I know what I said, I stand by it. Oh, 
Let's see, the red light somehow makes the room seem darker than it did without the light. Yeah. Alright, so we can put a light over the sink. And a light over that sink. Um, I'm so close to my goal that you get to this weekend. Uh, what goal is that? Hmm. And then, like, a fire exit light. That's what that one will be. So that's where the door is. All right, so put down there. Ah, gotcha. Understood. Well, I do hope you hit your goal. Now, but understood. Some of these later mirror frames get really kind of weird. can't actually change your color, so that's fine. You can just stay that way. Uh, let's see. I have some cleaning up to do. That's going to just wait. All right, so you're the guitarist. They're going to be unreasonable here. Because that's what you want to have in your hotel. Speakers like that in the bedrooms. That will certainly not be a problem. It's like house flavor, but not a mess. Uh, um, wait till we get to a room I haven't started yet. You're you're catching a room that's or a hotel room that's mostly done. I hope that storm actually shows up in the screenshot at the end. I didn't want to pick that up. Was that a fishing rod? Yes. So yeah, to give you an idea on the mess, that's the before and that's the after. So, it's uh, it's pretty rough before. Yay! We went up a star. And unlocking a whole bunch of more options. For some of those couches look pretty sweet. I don't know what these are. We didn't have whatever those are before. So there's a new entire category of stuff. Oh my god! Thank you! I even got an autograph from him. All right. The hotel is full. I think this is the right time to open the spa section on the third floor. We have a spa? Wait, we have a spa? Why didn't we prioritize opening that first? The heck of this hotel business we could just run a spa. Yeah, 
Getting your learners tomorrow? Nice. Where's the last of the dirt? Cool. So we never did find the instruments. Congratulations, you repaired another part of the elevator. The panel is unlocked to another floor. The hotel can expand even more. You can now use the button in the elevator to go up. Cool, that is how elevator buttons work. So it looks like we've opened up all the floors in our place. We still haven't cleaned the hallway downstairs. We still have multiple rooms we haven't finished. Can you finally get a debit card and a job? Just be careful with the debit cards. They will get you in trouble. Some take them down. This is true. Time for the sauna. First, you have to fix those showers and the changing room. I've had this the whole time. And we've just not bothered. Okay, so it's literally just the sauna up here for the most part. Alright, well... What's this way? Oh, we have penthouse. Alright. Well, apparently in New York City. At least I'm assuming that by the giant New York City thing there. What do they try to design to actually look like? I don't recognize this at all. What happened to this hotel? Oh, my grandfather ran it. It's kind of like started by... Well, that's... Okay. Yeah, this is Central Park. We're clearly on the, um, the south side of Central Park. Judging by the height of our buildings over here versus there. I unfortunately don't know New York City well enough to... Like, spot to see if they tried to mimic certain buildings or not. I feel like you can see that maybe that's the Empire State Building way out there, but I don't know the area. Really fun, you know, fixing all this. Man, the, uh, you know penthouses are nice and all that, but this, even for a penthouse, this is, this is a nice, like, this is a whole floor to yourself level penthouse. Alright, well. Oh, before we get into that. Because I may have unlocked new stuff. Let's check our tools on that new stuff. Because I'm hoping... Did you give me dynamite? Yes. Yes, you did. Automatic clean robot. These smart cleaning robot help clean floors. Um, at time, you wish for no open, but... And it doesn't do calculus. Okay, to use dynamite, uh, choose the removal tool. Uni. Oh, and I've been warned that the uh, the dynamite, um, if you are photosensitive, epileptic, or similar, can be tough. So, we're going to figure out what it's like, but um, there is a chance this might be a bad time for some people. So, you know, flashbang out. Okay, it still blinds you if you look the other way.
I do seem to be able to get far enough away. Okay, so it's just we gotta run away from a kind of thing to avoid blind armor. Oh, it's it's just directional. It goes through walls. I see. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> Welcome to New York City. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> this is to totally not a problem. I'm turning too fast and I apologize. I'm not trying to constantly flashbang everyone. Oh goodness, it bounced off the wall, I can't see. That doesn't do damage to us. Okay, so I think I've exploded everything on this floor. So now it makes me curious. So it says this will just clean up. Can I have multiple? Those per room? I need to science. I want to see if I go down here and I drop the Roomba in one of these rooms. Can will the other Roomba still be up top? Can't seem to rotate it, which is interesting. All right, so let's go back up to the second floor. See if our Roomba's still on the second floor, or if it went away. Because that's what I'm curious. Sorry, third floor. I'm curious the our Roomba will still be up there doing its thing. Because it doesn't seem like it actually costs money to put down the Roombas. Which is interesting. You're, uh... Not... Particularly good at your job, Roomba. Okay, so that's going to take forever to do anything. Now, I will say I'm impressed by the fact that that tiny little Roomba is able to pick up Broken Tile. But, in this particular case... For this room, I'm just going to take care of it. Oh, hi. Yet we are slightly below the terrain right now.
Long Claw saying thirteen thousand dollars. Can I find a golden egg, please? Yeah, they start out where I think like the first ones give you like five hundred dollars, but as you go through the game, they end up being worth more and more. So like weirdly, money in the game is not a thing you have to worry about, but it also kind of is. Okay, so room is not super useful. All right. So, I don't get what this room is supposed to be. Alright, so we have the sauna. That's here. We have the terrace. That's there. We have the pool. That's pretty straightforward. No one really needs to explain a pool to me. I would like to repair this. Maybe we have to wait till our stuff's done. Um... Guessing 100% more tips. All right. So yeah, broken pipe. Um, that's on 202, so second floor. So it doesn't seem like the uh, the sauna is going to be that bad to deal with. It's a very small set of rooms, and we'll probably have to put a bunch of stuff out in the terrace. I don't really understand. Oh, it's a changing room. That's what that back room is. It's a changing room. Okay. I said, it's like, what the heck is this tiny little room, and how could it possibly be useful for anything? Okay, you get to do that job. Alright, so you gotta turn off the water because there's a broken pipe in that room. I should be allowed to clean up this elevator. Like, there should be an upgrade elevator option. Because, like, the rest of the hotel is starting to look mostly nice, outside of, like, the one hallway we've completely neglected and our unfinished area. And then you see that elevator and you're like, ah, you're just garbage. There's a room for the main room. Oh, right, crack pipe, not the, um, power. I don't figure out where the violin and all that are. Excellent. We can't go out there. That's not where I wanted to go. Ah, we get two load screens. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the squeak from that. Not sure if it picked up or not, but a good chance it. Okay, let's try again. And like, our other elevator is still broken. I feel like by now we should be able to fix that.
Interestingly enough, there's not even a control panel in that elevator. All right, so let's go ahead and start getting this stuff going. So we need to do all this. What do you have? You have nothing I want under that. So stone tiles. Okay. I can get behind some of these things. Oh, we can get like actual marble floor. Oh, no, no, I'm feeling this. Do you want this color? The blue is pretty cool. Yeah. Right, for that one, we'll use wood flooring. Let's use the antique wood flooring. This is the changing area. Marking the whole thing is changing area. I don't know. All right, so that means it's time for walls. Nothing I want other. I can go with that. Have the floor have the color and have the walls be the neutral. Okay, so this is the changing area. Um, so I'm supposed to have a desk, a, cu a cupboard, and two shelves. Let's put the ceiling on before I forget. So can I put that on the ceiling? No. Ceilings have to go back to being painted. I kind of don't like that the ceiling has to be painted. I'd rather... I'd rather have more options for the ceiling. Oh, one second. Like any, like I don't even care floor or wall. Any of the options are available for other parts. Make that available for all of it. Ah, that white ceiling does not work. Hang on. You need to be something a little darker. Something a little bit more blue. Try the blue gray instead. That's a lot better. It's still not my favorite, but that's way better than that white was. Okay. All right, I can live with that. Um. All right. So we need to do. Two of these. We still haven't unlocked everything yet. That might, that'd work in this space. Actually. It doesn't matter. Oh, they're too big. Okay, never mind. Because you wish how they're at automated paint and filling in every tile. Yeah, so when you start, like, you bang on the things, like, one at a time. Um, like, just the very beginning. And very quickly, they're like, here's the thing that makes this not a total chore. 
which I very much appreciate. So let's see. There's the three star and better. Stop being too big for me to see. Well, that's interesting. I kind of like the cracked pattern for the door in this one. Though, okay, so that's the back, this is the front because there's a slight seam on it. Now right, we got a ghost, that's fine. Let's try and find. And we need to add some shelves. Okay, I can make those work. I need two shelves. Pop in. Kind of bummer that the black is going to be there no matter what I do. Okay. Hall, changing area, terrace. Oh, it's saying the sanitary design. Um. Oh, is this the room for showers is here? Ah, uh, that makes sense as well. All right, so that would imply I need to do two showers. You're going to have to find a new home. There's the showers. You need two sinks. The music has just disappeared entirely and I don't know what to do about it. It's just complete silence. Hey, the follow. Welcome to the stream. There it is. There's the two sinks. Sorry, I couldn't hear you as the music was too loud. <laughs> yeah. Those are all very large. They're not going to happen. Bathroom wall accessories. So, towels for the sink. Palace with a shower. Then other accessories. Tal stage for both of them. Oh good, it still counts out here. Some extra tiles there. Uh, decorating design, we need plants.
Definitely feels like we should have tropical plants up here. Assuming we can find any place to fit them. All right, you're too big. That'll work. One there. One there. Uh, let's change that light to something better suited for this area. And mirrors. All right, standing mirrors. I have to move those towels, aren't I? And I can do something like this. Not particularly good mirrors, now but all we need is a working sauna. Um, I would like to repair it, but the service unavailable. Okay, make a functional hall. All right. Yes, these aren't going to be... It's all wood floors, they're not going to get anything that, um... Oh, we can give it a bamboo pattern, can't we? That'd work. Not the antique floors. Make that look bamboo? Not really. Not feeling that. Alright, we're gonna go... Something more like a marble floor, not that. So we got fancy floors now, so we're just going for it. Um, what did I do for the floors down there? I can't check. Yeah, because I can't look at the bottom floors from up here, which I think is the thing where they don't probably have them loaded in. All right, fairly generic marble floors for the common space. And we'll do wallpaper. I can see some of these. Yeah, especially if we're going to give it like almost a bamboo look does not appear to be the case. Yeah. I think we go with that. I don't think we make all the walls look like that. I think they're kind of like their own accent. accent. I won't do paneled walls. The sun itself, I'm down to keep going with that. Um, I think we'll make the rest of the hotel wall match the rest of the hotel, which is wall covering this. Um, and I do believe it's that stone block. All oh, right, we make the um inside of the elevator doors 
match the accent. Interesting. Even though I, uh, used the dynamite, it didn't clear the window area. I mean, I can go to this one because I'm not supposed to do that. Alright, so next up we go to painting. Get our vibrant ones. Um, I think for the ceiling we're going to do just like we did earlier, which is... Gray blue. All right, I think we got all that sorted. All right, um, um, we still need to do. The edges there. And the top. Cool. Alright, so not saying I need in this open area two dresser type things. Two couches. Let the just stuff a little bit. It's gonna leave those in their default color, I think. They want me to have three tables. Not sure that's supposed to have glass between there, but if not, it'd be super annoying to use. Sure. We can go with that. It says I need to have one more table somewhere. Go with this. I need chairs this style. That's a weird chair. Kind of a cool, like, really laid back chair. I might do it. I don't think it'll be a good fit for the space. Yeah, because I have to... Oh, here's what I can do. Grab that, scooch it way up here. Grab you, scooch you way up here. Grab you, scooch you way up here. Grab you, scooch you way up here. That works. Um, Alright, I need... Art. Put bowls on both of those. Into the middle here.
Okay, and I need one wall decoration, just one. Um, that's fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like this. I need plants. I like how it seems to be no hitboxes, makes moving around tight spaces much here. Oh yeah, for those who haven't seen, like you can walk through stuff. Now your your stuff you're decorating with collides into each other, but you pass through things. Um, I agree, it's kind of nice for what we're dealing with here. Two lights over here on the edges. And I need two overhead lights. Wasn't there one that looked very flat? Oh, here, let's not put those there. Kind of use those for marking the doors. Oh, those aren't spaced well. And we need mirrors. Cool, so it made the changing room and the hallway functional. Still, it's still not giving me the option to repair that though. And this one has the option to repair it, but it's not doing anything. So I need to make the terrace functional, which is just put down a floor. Uh, so I feel like it's definitely going to be some kind of, mo no actually, Let's go to the, to the antique wood. Nah. I mean... So I'm going back and forth, but I want to do like a deck kind of thing where it's wood or I want to go marble. So in real life running around on this, I would want this to be a deck. Because the marble is going to get cold AF outside New York. So you go in the pool, you're going to be all comfy, and then you're going to go out in the marble patio and go, My tootsies are cold. I'm assuming they're going to have me put down a lot of patio furniture. Marble also equals a slipping lawsuit. This is also fair. Um, We have yet to use anything into the patio category. This is exciting. I have no idea it's here. We got floaties, we got towels, we got buckets, we got benches. Ooh. One of those there. One of those around here. So I definitely want... Some type of, like, chair people can lay out in the sun in.
Actually, what can I change about that? Oh, just the wood pattern? That's fine. I think that's a table. So then the game is soothing? Yeah. Like, I only realized they had weathering, you know, weather today. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So we'll just creak it that way. In hindsight, I should have probably given these a pattern. But it's okay. I've already been gone, gone far enough with it. I'm not willing to switch. Cause then I gotta go and switch all of them and place them and it's just like, nope. No, that's the thing that's not gonna happen. Surprisingly, no umbrellas. Is that the smallest table we have? And a flamingo floaty? I should. We can do that as soon as I get the tables in place. Oh, there's no lifeguard here. Are you kidding? And then let's add one cabinet or shelf or something of that nature for the, uh... For the towels. You have some I can put the towels on, right? No? Okay, in that case, we'll just grab the first table we see and just chuck some towels on it. Okay, so now we're on to decorations. We have a bunch of columns and statues and all sorts of nonsense. I'm looking for a bunch of ridiculous statues, sorry. An aquarium. So we're... Oh, I just realized we have the ad break. I'm sorry. Like, right now I'm just doing this. I won't finish it while the ad break's going on, but I'm just placing down cups. We're just going to keep going. I didn't notice in time. So we need a bunch of plants. Once we actually use like a really big plant. Don't do the pool. Okay.
trying to wedge these in here as much as possible. Can I sneak you in there? Way more plants than it called for. But you know. It's making nice out here. Plus, that means I'm killing time and a lot of people aren't missing much because I'm just putting down plants. Um... Well, I don't really have much I could do with these. I I wanted lights that are a little bit more... Oh, come on. A little bit more elaborate than what we got. It's fine. We just go... Boom. 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 All right. Terrace looks much better. We can take care of the pool now. All right. This swimming pool was my dream, and it's just how I imagined it. Ah, it's filling it by itself. Great! Sauna is working. I'll be the first to try it. Yay! Collect special item. Good morning. I've been away from this great city for too long. I hope your biggest apartment on the top floor is available. Make it shine for the old man. You won't regret it. Um, collect the special item. There's something odd about this guest. We better make sure to prepare the room to his liking. It's grandpa. Want to disappoint him. We better use some of the most luxurious furniture here. It's grandpa. I'm calling it it's grandpa. Grandpa gave us the place. Um. Okay. We apparently found a wedding ring or an engagement ring in the pool and it gave us a cinematic of someone who is either clearly proposing or got into an argument with their significant other and went, nope. I, I don't, there it goes. Cool. Apparently that was a clue. I don't know what a clue to what, but we found a clue of a discarded ring. Now granted, it was discarded into the, uh, into the swimming pool in its case. So not sure how that worked. He should have proposed the golden egg instead. I know, right? Like, he followed the whole, what was what was the old rule? And when I say rule, it was a marketing thing that, I don't remember what company came up, it doesn't matter. It was a marketing thing that you're supposed to spend a certain, like... Whoa, look at the space. Looks like you'll have a lot of work in here. Yes. But, um... But it's like, you know, that you're supposed to get an engagement ring that's worth X number of months' salary. It's like two months' salary, I think, is what it's supposed to be. You know, all that crap. Um. Yeah. For a lot of people, the, uh, I see the golden egg there. For a lot of people, you know. You this part of the penthouse. You've really become an amazing designer. Stop talking. Like the 18,000 or whatever that, that golden egg was. It's like, yeah, it's going to be more than most people's two months salary. Yeah, $15,000. That's more than most people's two month salary by a very, very fair margin. I mean, you're talking, you're starting to get into like some people's annual salary.
Oh, I missed a room. Part of the penthouse looks like a challenge, but I'm sure you already have it figured out. Nope. I do know you throw dynamite in it, turn and walk away. There's just always more. Well, I didn't want that. Okay, so let's even see what we're doing. I tore up the floor out here. Let's go and get that fixed. I think we'll just go with the wood flooring like we did by the pool. It's not typically what you think from, like, penthouse suite. But, um, the whole marble on the outside where, like, you can, like, send yourself off is a thing. And then plus, in some ways, the wood actually seems more expensive because it'd have to do constant repairs and all. Like, in real life, this would be a maintenance nightmare, all this floor out here in the rain. And being bleached by the sun constantly. It'd be like maintaining a deck the size of your entire top of your building at all times. Leave all the doors open. Okay. Really? Good morning. I'm Eliza Gray. You'd be surprised to know I have a key to room 203 in your lovely hotel. I'd love to stay in that particular room if you don't mind. I guess it's just a busted texture on that one? Sure. You have a key for 203. So you need to find the instruments. I'm supposed to deal with the ghost. I'm just completely ignoring the ghost, by the way. Um, 203 was locked earlier. But yeah, pretty soon the hotel's gonna be all done being fancied up, and then we get to figure out what's going on. Sorry, I turned too fast. So I'm going to go and deal with the penthouse first, I think. I uh, so to do that in case you have stuff like this laying around. Oh, right. I was so confused. I didn't even realize I'd walk down the hallway. I was just like, what? But surprisingly, when you do that, everything starts to look kind of the same. Let's see. A bunch of exotic rooms on this floor. Probably be one to have more of an interesting floor pattern for. 
You might be able to just cheat by having... Oh, that's weird. I'm not sure I dig it, but that's... Certainly bright. I'm gonna go with it. That would make this place look very much like a certain time frame, but it's fine. Okay. Alright, so we'll start with the part we know, which is that out here in the main area, it gets the same aesthetic treatment that the entire rest of the place gets. Because we've been doing this as kind of like the main area for the whole place. So now I go down here to paint. And I'm I am liking the uh, blue gray as my um, go to for that. And then we have our accent color. Okay, so it's not doing the entire hallway. Cool. This game has been a lot of fun. I'm glad I got messed with it again. Um, I do think eventually, whenever like when we decide we're at a stopping point or we finish what's here, uh, what we we'll might we'll probably do is switch over to the Subnautica Below Zero and wrap that up. Um, alright, so let's see. I have to decide what I want to make these hallways actually look like. Just wall graphics of the, uh... Of the Halloween thing the whole way through. Nah, that definitely does not fit the aesthetic. Um, I'm looking for ceramics... How are I feeling a lot of these wood panelings? I do like this. We're just going to go like that. So not, not the whole wall, just the outer sections. We'll give it that wood paneling. And what we'll do here, go to these walls here on the end, they have the windows, we'll give them like the default that I've decided to go with. I feel like I missed a spot on this one, I did. Now we'll go here, go to the gray paint. We missed that spot. That one. Cool. And so what I'm thinking we'll do is each room kind of has a theme going for it. 
Yeah, this is the room they they wanted the uh this one that was really white was what they're going for no th well actually keep finding those everywhere now like forget they actually doing anything else in the game just run around and grab the eggs all right so I'm thinking we do is she is the one who's got like the uh the black and it was yeah, it's black, right? She liked wall print and black. Oh, you know what? No, that's pretty pretty rough. Camera's not working again. Yeah, it worked all day yesterday, and then today it was just like, I don't feel like it, so we're dealing with that whole mess. Um, so yeah, she liked the black. So for her room, we have like the two spots that inlay in the wall. Maybe theme for that room. Um, and this one liked white. So we're gonna do the same thing. How how white can we get? What is this game about? So this is Hotel Renovator. The idea behind it is your grandfather gives you a hotel and you run a business of the hotel. But a lot of what you do is like the renovations for the hotel to make going like that. We haven't done anything with that room yet, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Uh, oh god, this room. All right, so this room is a super vibrant red room. So can I get something that vibrant? That's close enough. Um, but it's interesting because you don't just make a hotel like you kind of make the rooms to match like individual clients kind of thing. Yes, yeah, so this room is uh, as of yet to be determined. No, oh, it's not going to be happy unless I do something with it. Um, Right now, I'll just give it the default color we used. All right, so let's go back up to Old Flame. Read the card. Read what card? Um. Okay, we don't know where the the supposed card is, but yeah. So you're so you're sitting there like renovating a hotel. You've got guests, and they'll be like, "Oh, I want you know my room to be black and red." So it's kind of weird that like. Your hotel is almost getting like custom, custom hotel room kind of stuff. Okay, so those are collectibles we find, I guess. That's so weird. It's like read the card. All right, so I can't upgrade that. Can't upgrade the desk. This elevator is apparently cursed to never work ever. Maybe it's on the top floor because we found the uh, the ring up there. It would make more sense if it were abandoned in apartment building said. Yeah, I think it's fine. Oh, that's way brighter than you think about it. Walking out of there, that's fine. And it does give me the option to upgrade that later. Same with that. Huh. Well, regardless, let's go in here. Because this is the next room I have to work on. Which we've already cleaned up, like, taken all the walls off. And the floor's off and gotten all that. Start working. Um. Oh, hi. Golden egg. Suggestions style optional. Really expensive. I see. I'm just checking on these far corners because they seem like the kind of place I would hide an egg in. That's fine. 
Yeah, that spot of floor won't let me do for some reason. Okay, so we've got... That's clearly meant to be some kind of, like, either living room. I think this is a bathroom. There's a big open space. Yeah, so this is definitely a bathroom here. We'll start with the room we know what we're dealing with. Um, alright. Yeah, I'll just do the classic. So that's a bathroom. This is a bedroom. I get some fancy wood in here. Um, for the main area, you know what? We'll keep doing that floor. Have a nice hardwood floor for like the common space and all that. Okay. Meanwhile, it's hard to know, so maybe make this like a study? It's really hard to tell what this should even be. We've got like this weird. This is a room because like it's got a door. It's not just a hallway. It's it's like own room. Um, so it's like this is one room, and then you got this room here. And you got that room there. I don't really know what to do with a lot of them. And you know, we're gonna carry forward with the wood for this whole space. Okay, so the floors are supposedly done. So now I have to do the walls. So we'll start again with the bathroom where we know we are doing a bathroom. Do some interesting stuff with this. It doesn't mention that this guy has any preference colors wise, so I can kind of do what I want with it. Make that like an accent wall. Try to find some more neutral. Doing like an accent wall in marble and then like finding a complementing marble like pattern wise, that's just absurd. Like that would be someone spending like serious, serious buku bucks to get someone to figure all that out. I've got all that. Make the bathroom blue gray. Okay. Actually, is is that the bedroom? Man, I don't understand penthouses. Like what the heck in this place should be the bedroom? Because, like, all these have two doors, and they go up to, like, a common shared open space. Alright, so we'll start with the rooms we know. This is not the bedroom. This giant open space here, this is, like, just where everyone's going to be hanging out. Put the wood panel there. 
Just there, I think. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I think it will. Pattern the hallway. Alright, I feel like whatever goes underneath it should be a lot more muted. Probably not the gray we've been using, because we use it a lot. I think the tan would work. It's like, you finished doing all your walls. I'm pretty sure I haven't. How did that wall get missed? Because that's just this room's wall. Unless we go in the next room at... Ah... Okay, so this gives me ideas of what should actually be here. So, okay, that makes my life way easier, because this is telling me I don't need a bed, which is what we already figured. But at least now I have confirmation, so I'm not sitting here guessing. So it wants me to have three dressers, and it has advised me to get nothing but the bougiest ones. That they say at least level four furniture. Or quality four, or whatever they're calling it. Okay, so I need three of these. Now I use that spot. Let's, let's use this wall over here, I think. All right, and so same deal, get the really, really, really good stuff. And I need one table. Just put that smack in the middle of the room. No, not that room. We'll put it in this room. This room will be like a dining room kind of thing. I need six chairs. And nothing but the best. Right, that first chair was nice. Yeah, out of the really nice ones, I think that's going to go with. We change the seat to have some kind of pattern on it. Yeah, that looks good. There's the six chairs. Now to sofa, same deal. Look for the nicest. And I need two of them. Go 
here. There. Then there. Same deal, look for the nicest stuff. So you go with the round table here. I could put like one there and one there. I think that's what we're gonna do. Now I need these style seats. Gotta go for the nicest ones. All right, uh, needs a pattern on it. Hmm. Go for a different chair for up here. I believe there's one chair that's like super laid back kind of thing. All right, now I need carve for the entrance. Same thing though. I gotta go for the nicest ones. Oh, how big are you? All right. I didn't actually mean to do that there. Let's see, more like Brotel Rembroator, am I right? No. N no. We're here for money. All right, and we need cat. How's it going, Cyphophobia? <laughs> All right, so again. They want nothing but, like, the most ridiculous stuff. They don't actually care what it looks like. All they care is that it's money. Oh, goodness, you're ridiculously large. Perfect. You can go in that space and be obnoxiously big there. And finally, some shelves. The shelves there. And there. Alright, now I need to do decor. Aw, oh, man, they're going to put me, like, the super nice stuff, and usually it's a bunch of, like, really ugly bronze statues. Oh, I'm not excited about that. Actually, there we go. Uh, so it only goes up to four here. We get some columns, I guess. I don't know what to call them. Alright, um... 
Get statues I don't care about. Oh, literally that's it. My choices are columns and statues and stuff I don't want. Boo. Alright, you. The pair of columns. Put a column in that corner. Put a column in that corner. Oh, are they seriously slightly too short? Deeply upsetting. There. You get out of here. Painting. Same deal. Okay, so paintings only come in like quality one, quality two, or whatever. Apparently that's quality two. A park bench. And some run random old person. Excellent. Uh, I don't think plants uh, plants do have quality to them. Let's get to the first. There we go. These are tier four plants. Uh, that's kind of cool. Like get like an actual tree in here. Yeah, let's do the. Let's see if I can't make those um. Make the little palms work. Great, that way you can sit down and get palm in the back. Oh, I need four. Sit down and get palm in the back of your head. Perfect. Got one in that corner, and one in that corner. We need the nicest lamps. I love how that skits are like a super nice lamp. It's just a bulb in a column. And it might actually be what we go for. That floor is just looking to get scuffed and scratched. Yup. A very slight pink hue to it. Good enough for me. It's not actually good enough for me. All right, and I need four of this style of light. We can only accept the best. Put them over the doors. course they don't want to do the outside doors because a whole bunch it's fine we'll do the outside no i can't there's something in oh well, let's put over this the painting all right chandeliers i need two
No, I still need to paint the roof in here. Let's do that before I forget, because I will. Um... I'm hoping that looks okay. I think that'll be alright. Yeah, it looks like that'll be fine. Alright, I'll probably have spots I need to touch up with that. But in the meantime, while well, that figures that out, Mirrors. We got our maximum quality mirrors. I see. The thing we do is these ones here that clearly go together. Find some place to put them all together as a group. Taking up too much of my walls here. Oh, they don't go together. Well, that's fine. Okay, did we miss a spot on the ceiling in here anywhere? Nope. And that leaves us with technology. Okay, so that's one room done in the penthouse. And this room wants painted. So here's the bathroom. Oh, this is like its own separate section. Technology, where the Terminator sun go? Yep. Alright. This is probably going to be the bedroom is what I'm guessing this is going to end up being. Uh, not that. See what it says I require for this room. Okay, so it does require a bed. Perfect. So we did guess correctly what it wants. We'll make this that same like tannish color, chestnut, whatever it is. Alright, so now we go all the way over here and we're going through another room. This part of the reason I wanted to do this one before trying to do the littler place below. Um, is I just figured we'd end up spending a whole bunch of time and have a whole bunch of work here. If I change your color, what does it change? Change your sheet. Uh, let's see. There's a ridiculously expensive bed, my goodness. Alright, so you still gotta do the really expensive stuff. There's your nightstands. So we're going to require a table and a sofa for it to go with it. Do that thing. Go for the sofa. Now I got a cupboard. 
get that giant obnoxious one. And then shells. Cool, now I go for the bathroom. Oh, jacuzzi tubs? Yeah. Yeah, we're doing a jacuzzi tub. You expect a shower as well. I really don't know where we're fitting this, but that's okay. And a toilet. Um, you're getting the heckin' fancy toilet with the entire control panel on it. I don't know if that's what you planned on having, but that's what you're getting. Because, like, that toilet right there, that toilet will do stuff you don't even understand. That's fine. That to fold your laundry? Oh, that's just where it starts. They wanted two sinks. They want super fancy cabinets, which are going to be a problem because I have no idea where we're going to fit them. Um, sure, one there, and one here shoved in the corner where we can barely shove it. Excellent. Um. And always, put a paper. Towels for both the shower and the bathtub. One set of hand towels between the sinks. Bear towels there. A bin. Soap dispensers at each sink. Let's put our product on here. Alright, now I need to decorate. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just one tier of decorations, if I recall correctly. No, there's more. There's like statues and crap. Um... How am I supposed to make any of that work? Any of this that'll sit on top of things? Sure. Why not? You can have a random statue sitting there. For reasons. Call them out there. Instead of you being over here, it's gonna weirdly have three columns here that I'll probably sit stuff on. Alright, we need stuff for the wall. Uh, just one thing for the wall.
Okay. Um, alright, plants. I say, don't they get away with the big ones, so. I only need one light. Of that style. I need two lights for this. Chandelier. Use these mirrors again. All right. So I finished this set of rooms. Then this set of rooms is done. Does this all kind of the same space? I think these all kind of the same space. I don't really know. Oh, here. What we're going to require in this area. Make sure I didn't miss anywhere else. Um, well. I don't know what each of these rooms is going to be is the problem. So I'm going to probably have to st stuff up and it's going to say, okay, you need a toilet now. And I'll be like, all right, well, I didn't plan for that. I like the idea of just going with the style we used in the other one and continuing with it, because it saves me thinking about it. Go that squared away. Um, this is like a hallway. Let's use... Actually, that one I don't want to do. That's fine. Uh, I was going to say, let's use the brick for the hallway. And I'll do here. Is we'll find the wood pattern we've been using. Put that there. And I want to put on this wall. It's clear all three of these rooms need to be done for it to count, which is fine. Alright, which leaves this last room. Since I don't know what it's going to require, we're just going to go with this again. I'm just expecting I'll have to switch one of these rooms. It's fine. With that being the case... Chestnut for you. Just not for you. Just not for you. Alright, so we are going to have a bedroom here. Um, I think we make this... Yeah, this room here, I think we make the bedroom. Just gonna follow the aesthetics we used for the other one, because then we know it matches. You want a sofa? I guess the sofa would go out here, wouldn't it?
Hmm. Yes, they have a whole bunch of these sofas that can connect together. I'll do that one. We have a table, and they're going to get two little couches. I wish I knew if I was going to have a bathroom to do as well. That's that's the open question for me right now. The so table there. Plan for a table here, and we'll figure out what we're doing with it. Um, so we've got. Here's this though, this will actually work. Yeah, so we can do is turn one of these, sit over there, scoot you over, scoot you over. And the other one there. I need a carpet. Right, moving in here. Okay, is so repairing it that looks better? Ooh, you need a lot of cupboards. Um, okay, so you're not gonna be able to do the super duper obnoxiously large ones. I don't have that cast space. So I have two smaller ones there. Got a big wall over here. And then shelves. Yeah, the bathroom, figured. So once again, the jacuzzi tub is happening. You want a shower, we can wedge that in over in this corner. We have a super fancy toilet with the entire control panel. That can go there. Um, we need two sinks in here, so once again we'll do this nonsense. We need three cabinets. Killing me with these cabinets. Yeah, I give a plant or a light or something back there. All right. Now I need decorations. Same deal. Hand towel. Towel for the shower. Towel for the bath and toilet paper. Grab some extra towels. Alright. I think we're in the home stretch in this place because there's no more rooms after this one. And again, because it wants us to have fancy furniture, there's the awkward bust. Are these tier 5 not qualifying? Is that what I'm understanding right now? Because of the case, I'm going to be very salty about that.
Let's see. Let's d well no, because there's it says four star furniture. That's what I'm placing. Have her back there awkwardly pouring it out. And the same bus twice, because it's what I have. I do not much care for this bathroom. <laughs> And we have to get the fancier plants. For some less obnoxious size wise. Hmm. And we have to deal with these. I've still been preferring using these around the doors. Oh, I'm putting all of these in the bathroom. These are for the whole space. So I was like, man, there's a lot of crap to be shoving in this bathroom. And there. Two here. Really, it didn't paint as much as I thought it was going to be, so let's fill in that spot. This spot. That spot. Well, that's good. Yeah, it makes way more sense. Not shoving all of... I mean, we're going to leave all the stuff in the bathroom. <laughs> they put there for now. I'll just move those lights. Okay. Now we need the mirrors. We will put these in the bathroom. And you want a bunch of tech. Really, no mall on mall on to display. You want tons of tech. All right, so the before and after for the penthouse. Twenty seven thousand five hundred a day. So literally that's more than the entire rest of my hotel combined. Alright, so this floor is done. Um, I still don't know where I find the read the card. Which 
journal, collectibles, characters, objectives, ghost. We already did that. Okay, suppose we need to invite people upstairs. All right, well, I don't see a oh, room service. Those rooms won't stay clean forever. Hire room service if you want more time for other activities um, and have enough money in the bank. They've unlocked everything. Well, that's interesting. I have more stuff to un... Oh. There's just way more, actually. Okay, so we have 203 to do. And thanks so much to everyone who's been tuning in, who's been lurking, chatting, following, subscribing to the bits, the donuts, and the raids. It all helps. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, I, I don't know. So it's telling me to read the card, but I don't know what card and where I find it. I also see the thing about the lost and found. But we've been through pretty much every room in this place. I was debating that maybe it was like in the trunk that the vampire sleeps in. But um that just didn't happen. Okay, so you just want me to make a generic room. Like you don't you don't have a preference. I was I'm pretty sure that's the bathroom. Oh. Postcard. Eliza, my love, if you're reading this letter, it can only mean that you decided to come back to the place where we first met. I'm happy to know I will hold your hand once more. Yours forever, Roy. Okay, that's just it. Uh, and that's that's our grandfather. But like I said, if we looked at that picture and we check our tablet real fast... We look at characters. That's that's Grandpa. We look at her bookings. That's Grandpa. It even tells me it's Roy. Literally, Grandpa's at her hotel. You're like, there's a distinguished gentleman. It's like, it's it's your grandfather. The moment it was an elderly gentleman, um, going to the hotel. It's like, yeah, I already know who's gonna be. All right, um. All right. Let's get this show on the road. You have a vampire in your hotel? Yes, I do. His name's Vlad. He sleeps in the trunk in the basement. Not even a joke. Quite literally, that is actually what's going on. You know what? No, no we'll, we'll, the next room will do it. I said we need to make a room that's like a kid's room kind of thing. We're doing that when we do our next room. Um, hmm. So we're going to do like bright, vibrant colors. We're going to get the really, really, really unfortunate... um. Really unfortunate wallpaper that, uh... Oh, that's that's a cool one. I like that. Yeah.
All right, so now you got to deal with the ceiling, and unfortunately, you can't do that on the actual ceiling. So, all right, um, gonna paint. It's definitely not going to be. Do the chestnut ceiling out here. Once again, side here. Go with that. All right. So now I need to do this room. So this is our grandfather's lost fling. Now, once upon a time, he proposed to and she, or, or was per, like in a relationship with. We don't really know what the status was. There was some involvement between the two of them, and something occurred, and she was like, "Nope." I'm just not sure what I want to do with this. Sure. Not, not liking this. We could try painting over and see what it does. It might just give us a cool, it'll leave the texture and it'll give us kind of a cool pattern. That might actually work out. But at the moment looking at it, not feeling it. It's just a little too busy for all the walls. Like one wall is an accent that would probably work. That's not what I wanted to do. That's fine, we'll just put it back. Where did all my money go? I spent a heckin' lot on that... That place upstairs, apparently. Um... I was looked up, I was like, wait, where has my money gone? All right, so what we're going to try doing. Let's go for some of the pastels. Uh, those are still pretty bright. Let's go for something in the light I want I want light is not not eye scorchingly bright please let's try basic Light ivory. Sure. I think it can't send time. 
I was like, no, wait, I don't want to do the uh, the paneled wall back there. Not sure I'm liking it. Don't really have the money to be spending on this, though, so we might go with it anyways. I definitely don't feel like it was an improvement. I feel like it's definitely a move in the wrong direction. It's fine. It's only mostly upsetting. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. So now we need to go and find where the chestnut was. Was that under here as well? Yeah. Okay. So I've got all our walls and ceilings painted. This is really an unfortunate room. Uh, we'll probably finish this room and never speak of it again. Alright, so. Bed. Doesn't seem to have any preference on anything, so... That works out pretty well for me, honestly. Is this for the entire area? Yeah, that's right. There's lots of little places to tuck stuff in here, so I'm not sure how I want to utilize that area. And we get a pattern for these. Sure. Well, it doesn't look good, but it matches, so good enough. Just shove that there, make that like the TV area. Just rammed in the middle of all that. Um, That said, there's not a whole lot better what I'm doing here. Oh no, I literally can't afford it. Um, okay, well. I guess we speed up time. Because let's have to wait for the next day's income. I've I've gone broke. But, hi guys, I'm making a vlog of the best hotels around the world, and yours is on my list of places to visit. If you make it worth my while, and prepare a room just like how I like it, I'll be sure to recommend your place to my followers. Okay. Um... Oh wait, hang on. Hang on, slow down. Time needs to slow down. Alright, so... You are... Room 106. And you just want plants, a wall-mounted flat-screen TV, and a tripod camera.
I'm trying to think of where I'm going to put the camera in there. Alright, so 106. I would like to avoid 103. So 103 is that way. I don't want to go there. Because that's where the ghost is, and then I'll have to deal with the ghost. Alright. So. Um, all right. So add plants. Long glasses. I wish my furniture magically moved out of the way when I evacuated. Uh huh. A little bit. And you want a wall-mounted flat-screen TV. Which I have no idea where I'm going to put. Because there's nowhere it makes any sense at all. There, perfect. Now you have a glare on your screen at all times. A tripod camera. So I was thinking, I was suggesting well. All right, so tripod camera. Put that over there. Sure. I'm assuming we're right about to hit the end of like. The story because like our grandfather is currently in the building booking a room and somehow we don't recognize him or something I don't really understand I just realized all right bear with me chat I'm gonna need to run downstairs for just a minute uh, get my dinner going I've lost track of time again uh, again a good sign for a game but what I'm gonna do in the meantime is I'm gonna get words on stream going uh, that way while I'm running down making my dinner happen real fast that you all can uh have something to entertain yourselves. That's not what I need to be looking at. But uh, so thank you much to everyone who's been tuning in, has been lurking, chatting, following, subscribing, doing the bits, hosts, the donos, and the sorry, and the subs and all that kind of stuff. Sorry, no words on stream. Um, it all helps. I really do appreciate it, and I do hope you've been enjoying the stream. I'm suspecting pretty soon we'll be wrapping up what's going on in the game, and which point we'll uh we'll turn around and we'll switch over to Subnautica. Um. Some knock sub zero, uh, below zero. But in the meantime, we'll get words on stream going. And we'll have that here. But for those not familiar with words on stream, basically just, uh, you know, type in a word. And it'll show up there. The big thing to know is once you correctly guess a word, you have to wait until the blue bar in the middle gets past a lock before you're allowed to correctly guess another word. Anyways, I'll be back in just a couple minutes, and thank you again for tuning in.
Okay. And I'm back. Um, this is gonna be one of those like um lunch things gonna be or dinner making that's gonna be a little bit more disruptive. Um But yeah, so and the only reason is because like Tomb's Tomb's legs been bothering her kind of thing. Um, so just I have to like run down and take care of a couple things when it's done. Yeah, so I'll have to run down and handle that. Okay, sorry. At the same time that's all going on, I have... Because I'm visiting my folks tomorrow to help with my father, and... It's just, like, minor adjustments of plans, like, I... This 11th hour for that kind of stuff. It's fine, though. Everything's, a little, everything's like, going well. It's, like, a good thing for my parent as to... For my mom as to why I need to help with my dad. Because she's got a cool thing going on. Anyways, so I do apologize about that. Oh, we got about seven minutes, so I have to pull my food out of the oven. It is unfortunate that just just with Tomb having a having her leg being a little bit hurt, like she can move around. She's not it's not bad, but she's definitely not not feeling that a hundred percent. So got to help out where we got to help out. It'd be like that. Oh yeah, no, I I know, Pa. It's um, it's not been a secret on the channel that my um, my dad won't be around much longer. But um, like I don't I don't bring it up regularly or anything like that. But it is what it is. I can't do anything about it. But we got way more time than we planned, so you know, it is what it is. We don't need to dig into it. Not those positive feels. And it feels like it's a billion degrees in this room. Yeah, I'm. Let's see. Popper says I moved my mama in her last, in for her last six months. We had, yeah. For us, that's that's not really an option, but um, it's also not something that's needed. Um, just once in a while, they need an extra hand over there because they they're not they're not right by us. It's like hour hour and a half drive. What? How, oh right, I was going to adjust the AC because it feels like it's a billion degrees in this room. That's what it is. The AC is trying to save me money by making it super hot. All right, well, if you keep this pace up, we'll probably be good because I got, like I said, five more minutes. I got to pull the food out, so this break is going to be a little bit longer than normal. I do apologize about that stuff. Um. Just juggling a few things over here at the moment. But once that's done, we should be back to, like, normal... Like, there shouldn't be another major disruption. Not unless, like, some other unexpected thing comes up. But thank you so much for everyone who's been hanging out. I do know when I have this, like, break in the middle of the stream because I have to deal with my food and all that, that it gets to be disruptive. Um, so I understand that. 
So, I do appreciate it. I've also very much been enjoy enjoying the uh, Hotel Renovator. I'm assuming we're going to quote-unquote finish the game soon, because I have this one last room to renovate on the second floor. Our grandfather is currently in the penthouse. This person who's going to be staying on the second floor, um, from what I'm trying to gather from context here, is my assumption is our grandfather was either engaged was going to marry this person, or whatever what their relationship was, they were involved. Um, and something happened, and she was like, nope. And... Oh, I didn't even realize we got game art. Well, um, we're gonna do another round, okay? We'll do one more round, because that should cover me long enough, because I got three minutes uh, until I need to pull my food out. So I'm going to go ahead and do another round. So Zidian took first with 140, Paw Prince at 95, Freckled Husky at 65, The Merry Miner at 56, uh, Chonky and Funky at 30, Bianca Rose at 26, Dar at 7, and myself at 6. I'm going to do one more round just because the timing would, like, it's just unfortunately bad timing. Um, and like I said, normally I don't end up having to do two rounds, uh, so this is kind of an outlier. Uh, so I do apologize about that. I'm trying to guess stuff myself, my brain is just like no. But um, I do apologize about that. It's just one of those things that, like, at the moment, I'm juggling a couple things at once. But um, like I said, once we're done with this, like, once I get run downstairs. Get our food, get food for me and Tomb. Um, done. Like it's in the oven. That's the whole reason I have this specific time. I gotta run back downstairs. Um This is a really rough start. Around everything I can, but uh, that was the one I was gonna go for. Okay, um, yeah, unfortunately, proper nouns usually don't work. Well, if we if we game over now, I'm gonna have to do another round. <laughs> Someone sneak in a big word at the end. A level a level one end. Ow. Words on stream came out for blood. Okay, so I had sixteen. Freckled had eleven. Poppins had four. So again, we're gonna do one round. I got 45 seconds, I'm gonna run downstairs, I'm gonna grab the food and I'll be right back up. But I do apologize for having to do like multiple rounds. The word spring, take the word spring, I'll be right back. The the word spring wasn't actually there. I'm sorry.
Okay, and I'm back, and everything I've had to take care of is done. So at this point, when we can, like, when we get a game over, we'll be back at it, and we won't have any far direct, like, any major disruptions going forward. You know, again, barring some unforeseen disaster or whatever. But so thank you so for thank everyone for your like patience and everyone. All right. Meanwhile, while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my dinner, so that way that won't be something that interrupts us at all. All right. Be back in a minute.
All right. Sorry about that. So we're good to go to get back into it. So I do apologize that that break took way longer than I anticipated. When it comes to scores this time, we have Lorn, uh, Lornalt at 79, Freckled Husky at 73, Paw Prince at 62, Chunky and Funky at 34, The, Mi the Merry Miner at 7, Donkey Duff at 6, and Dar Strider at 7. So I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to get a switch back over to the game, and we'll get back to it. Thank you, Lornalt, for subscribing for three months. Thank you, Lornalt, for the... I failed. Aw, oh, it's okay. My brain is struggling. Um, is Mary a baby crying? But thanks so much for the Prime Gaming Sub. I really do appreciate that. That three months you've been subbed to the channel. I really do appreciate that continued support. It does mean a lot. So thank you for that. Why do I need to clean the room again? What what happened when it was gone? But I do hope you're enjoying your access free, access free. Yeah, your access free viewing. You can't you can't access no. Your advertisement free viewing as well as access to the emotes. Okay, so where we left off, I have put two sofas in. That's right. We got to trying to put these side sofas in and ran out of money. Just gonna go with it. Oh, right. There we go. Because the game has its own music. Like I said, what we'll do is, I think when we... Because I'm, I'm guessing we're actually getting pretty close to the end of the game. When we do reach the end of the game... What I think we'll end up doing is we'll switch over to Subnautica below zero, where I'm fairly early in it. Um, I believe we just unlocked the prawn suit. I don't think I have the ability to get the materials I need to make it. But I do technically have it. You know, a bathtub and all that. Yeah, Freckle, it took a little while to set that up. But yeah, for those who don't know, I do run on the channel um, mid-roll ads to disable pre-roll ads, and that's just a thing that, unfortunately, pre-roll ads are absolutely horrific towards your channel growth. So, you know, it is the life we live in on Twitch now that they they be going to be ads. It's what it is. No one likes it, but it's it is what it is. We'll just put you there. But, um... So we did have a problem with there being, like, very disruptive. Uh, but recently they made it so... Because it used to be you had to run 90 seconds of ads every 30 minutes. Um, but they made it so now they don't care, like, how you distribute it at all anymore. As long as you get at least the, um, the three minutes per half hour. As long as you get that, they don't care if it's, you know, a whole bunch of little breaks, one big break yada 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 um so personally i see having one big break per hour as just a better idea than having a bunch of tiny ones that's me though but we started doing that it's only been available for i think today's like the fourth day it's been available now they're talking it just became available Um, what do you want to do? We're just going to pretend she is, like, super into candles.
All right, so we have standing lights. And one for the bedroom. And we need a chandelier. Actually, three chandeliers. The chandelier in each and every room, I guess. And mirrors. Do you need two? I was hoping for something more compact. And then electronics. Wait, what are you? Oh, there's the giant speakers. All right, and that room is done. Cool. I mean, that wall behind there is pretty bare, so. That's fine. Oh. So we go to the terrace now. We've made it! Hotel looks great and finally it's time to celebrate. Let's make the terrace ready for the big event. We'll need some stylish terrace furniture and decorations. Our favorite band agreed to play a concert especially for hotel guests. Cool. We never did find the missing instruments, despite running all over this place. Okay, so I need to add goblets. Oh, add party balloons. That when I say party goblet, nope. All right, so got the balloons. I'm not seeing. All right, so we need candles. Those are under decoration. Let's see if any of these things are under the trap, under the special stuff. Is 
Just need a party goblet. Nope, let's go to regular decorations. Looking for individual candles. I like how it makes everyone stand out here and wait till I'm ready. Like, don't schedule the party. Just everyone wait till I, you know, finish doing everything. Alright, so we're looking for soda bottles. And candles. Candles I know I got plenty of. I don't know if I could put them on that, but I guess not. Good enough for me. Um, soda bottle. I'd assume it would be here. Come on, soda bottle. Hey, the follow. Welcome to stream. And I do see the self care stuff coming up. Get that in just a moment. I'm just trying to find the soda bottle real fast. Cookie jars. Bunch of plates, bunch of cups. Like, we ended up with a soda bottle way earlier in the game. There it is, soda bottle. Here, so it's only three of them. We're just gonna pretend this is the table you get it from. Go to the terrace, wait until 2100 for the beginning of the party. Okay, so I'm gonna speed up time one tick for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that stretch in and all that. Even though it seems like all of my guests are kind of trying to forcefully merge themselves into one spot off to the side. But that's fine. But we'll speed up time, like, properly speed up here in a minute. Um, and like I said, I think the only thing we're missing right now is this and then the, um, find the instruments. Because that haunted room thing is a repeatable thing that just keeps coming up again and again. Alright, so let me go ahead here real fast and mark those as complete. All right, let's speed up time proper. That's Grandpa, and that's the lady who hucked the ring in the pool. I love how I can still hear the regular music as well.
What a great concert. And you can believe it? Grandpa Roy and Eliza are back together after all these years. I'm truly moved. Well, I guess we knew that was Grandpa Roy. Hey, hey, Chaotic. How's it going? We can now expand our hotel. Isn't that fantastic? Expand where? What a great concert! And can you believe it? Grandpa Roy and Elisa are back together after all these years. I am truly moved. Or you moved like the Roomba's moved. That Roomba's moving. We can now expand our hotel. Isn't that fantastic? Like what what do you mean by expand hotel? Because I figure wait, wait a second. Thank you for finishing story mode. You can now expand your hotel by adding new floors from the tablet application. Continue to play will start a new game in sandbox mode. Okay. It said continuing the game? We'll start a new game? Um, so does that mean I'm just in sandbox mode now? Oh, interesting. So is there like a limit to that or is it just, because I could see them actually not having a limit with the way it loads. That's probably the reason when we went on the, uh, all those fireworks are way too close to the ground. Um, oh yeah, there's something I need to do to celebrate. But, um, well, I mean, there'd have to be a limit. Because there would be a limit on how many buttons. But that's that's neat. So the downside is we're basically out of money. On the plus side, every single day we get just about 50,000. Which is like enough to renovate an entire place. Um, so we've maximized our satisfaction. We've maximized our hotel quality. Um, we can upgrade the pool, the sauna, and the bar. And renovate a floor layout. Yeah, so it wants us to do each. Uh, so we really do need to celebrate this this properly. We did the fireworks. Um, I'm not satisfied with the fireworks. Uh, I feel like we could have done better. So you know. Oh, I actually put them away. Watch, we're going to end up blowing up this floor. Say hello, New York. Have a great time. Did you see? We hit five stars. Everyone should know about it. It's wonderful. It's fantastic. Yes, we're hucking lit TNT off the side of the skyscraper in what is like right in the middle of Manhattan Island considering that Central Park. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave Central Park out of that. There you go, Central Park. Excellent. We've got all our skills. And the only objective we have still is we still need to find the instruments, which we have unsuccessfully done so far. I'm going to go all the way back down to the ground floor, see if we can't find the instruments. I don't think we're going to go ahead and spend the time to go through all of the stuff to expand the hotel. Um, and be able to just keep adding more and more floors. That feels like the kind of thing I should probably do just as, like, you know, kind of just chilling and doing my own thing. Like, off-stream. It could be fun, but I don't know. I feel like that get very repetitious very quickly. Okay, so what we're looking for is there's supposedly a missing guitar, microphone, and violin. Um, and I looked for it previously, and I didn't see it. The only thing I can guess is that I just missed someplace. Yeah, so it's still not a thing I can do anything with.
And Vlad sleeps in there. That's been my guess, is that they're in here. Like, Vlad was getting annoyed by everyone playing all the loud music. Because he made a comment that Vlad likes it quiet earlier. But, um, I haven't gotten Vlad to open their their coffin in a while. Well, their trunk. But what? Aww. You know what? It's fine. We'll fix it. And it's like nothing ever happened. I'm not doing up this room. I'm just like, okay, at least want to get the trash off the floor here. And the ground floor elevator. Well, actually, it could be that this elevator goes up to the higher floors. They might be able to do some creative things. Yes, yeah, so you don't see it in here. We'll check the bar. The one piece of trash that keeps reappearing. So, floor one, nothing. Well, ground floor. We'll do once over, see if we can't find the instruments. If we can, great. If we don't, uh, they'll probably move over to Subnautica Sub Zero. But um, I've had a good time with that. I do like that they do have a sandbox mode as well. Because um, it does kind of go and give you the opportunity to go, like, okay. You know, sorry. Like, okay, you finish the game, but like you want to keep building, you just keep building up, which makes sense. If we're like right in the bottom, like Manhattan, you expect to be able to do a lot. Man, these rooms are trashed. Oh, yeah, I didn't put the giraffe on their bed, so those rooms are incomplete. Like, I'm kind of assuming it won't be in the rooms. Because by the time the instruments disappeared, we'd already cleared out most of the place. What have you done in this room? You'd be ashamed of yourself. I forgot about the ghost. Okay, ghost, you'll get one last time that I'll catch you. Wow, that was scary. Thanks. Okay. So now I'm here. So I already got that one, we already checked that one, we already checked that one. We already checked there. There's gonna be some place like hidden we've missed this whole time. Like an extra room or something. Oh yeah, we never did do this room. It's fine. It can stay that way. Same here. Um, okay, so this floor looks clear.
gotta be Vlad, right? Because, like, like I said, I, I super doubt that the instruments are up in these rooms. Or it could be the chicken as well. Because that's not the guitar. That's the guitar I put down. All right. Especially since we were still building these rooms when they went missing. I had just started Celine's room there, the one we just left. Um, this room we hadn't even like opened up at the time, and we fully cleared it out, so it's definitely not in here. That's the reason I keep thinking it's Vlad, is just because that's a space I know that's an enclosed space. And then the third floor wasn't accessible yet, so I don't think they'd put on the third floor if it wasn't accessible. Yeah, no, we, we just did all third floor. Um, so as soon as that finishes, we're going to go down to ground floor. We're going to stand by the, uh, the coffin for a minute. Meanwhile, let's maximize the speed of time. Which is interesting how fast you can make time move. Come on, Vlad, I saw you here earlier. Because they're basically fast forward into the day super fast. That's weird, because earlier we had that open. Like, and Vlad was just laying in there. Good morning, I'm looking for the right place to create my masterpiece. I don't care. Alright, well, I don't know about that. And by fast forwarding, I'm getting just obnoxious money that's letting me just skip right to, uh. Like, we're making hundreds of, you know, hundreds of thousands super fast. You're just fast forwarding time. So you can, like, do the upgrades just because they're showing. I'm not gonna add the new floors, I don't think. Cool. You might occasionally find an unexpected object in the pool. Service upgrade not available. Yes or immune to one negative. Ah. I have to have a bigger ho well, I have to have more rooms. So that requires ten guests. This requires 10 guests. Yeah, so I'm not gonna worry about those. That's, um, I just need to have more rooms. Alright, well, I think that takes us to a good stopping point for Hotel Renovator. Um, I had an absolutely fantastic time with this game. Like, very genuinely, add more floors. I mean, 
It it wouldn't take us super long to do it. I have to wait till we hit 500,000. That's the cost for doing it. So I gotta fast forward through um, three more days. At least I believe that's how much it would cost. Oh no, I'm wrong. So, curiosity, how is my pool going to be outside on the top floor if it's not the top floor anymore? Oh good, they just make it like it's a construction space. I'm just ignoring all those quests. I just want to see. Let's, um. I wanted to see if it put the musical instruments here. I don't think it will. I think the musical instruments are down with Vlad or something like that. They've got to be in a space that isn't one of the, um, hotel rooms. Yeah. In real life. Your construction crew is not leaving all those ladders. Each one of these ladders is like a hundred some bucks or more. Like this kind of crap, you can see them laying around. But all those ladders and stuff, like, nah, that's that's some serious money. People aren't just leaving that laying around and not taking it with them. That's someone getting written up for not not getting their equipment back. Yeah, so that's basically telling me if I want to do more with these floors, then you gotta turn around and, you know, do all that kind of stuff. It's interesting that it says the renovation is only 30%, 40% done. My assumption is you max that out when you've, like, built it as tall as it can go. That's just going up to, like, maybe 10 floors. If I go to the top floor, is it gonna be the penthouse suite? Like, does that move up? Or if I go down... So it's not. So if I go back down, do I somehow magically have a floor that is smaller than the floors above it? Because just the necessities of sandbox. I mean, it's clearly the top of the building. That's funny. Yeah. Now I have, a, have a good time with this. I do think, though, we are going to be wrapping on this game. Because, um, like I said, that feels like something I should just do off-stream when I'm like looking to just mellow out after after stream or whatever. I can just sit there and put together rooms, like, do whatever I want with that kind of thing. Dad, was there, there was no achievements. In the, no, there was achievements. What are the achievements? Or some, like, achievement I can knock out in two seconds? Um, Occupants in there? All right, so there's a max size of the hotel, and there's an achievement for getting, you know, every single hotel room filled. Um, That achievement I don't know, and that achievement I don't know. There's two hidden achievements. Um, and then just making making your biggest thing as possible. Um, which to me is just, that's the, you enjoy the game, you just kind of want to grind it out achievement. Which is not usually the kind of achievements I'll do on stream. Alright, so, with that said, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to turn back on our music. 
I'm going to be closing the game, um, and we're going to be switching over to Subnautica Below Zero. Uh, so give me a moment to get all that set up. Um, and we did start a run of this the other day. Um, I'm still pretty early in it. At least I believe I'm fairly early in it. So that said, it is my first run through, so please don't spoil. We're back to Subnautica Below Zero. First playthrough. Please don't spoil or back seat. The water is totally chill. Good enough. All right, so let's go ahead and get that up on the screen. Subnautica below zero. Man, oh, I liked that game. I had a really good time with that. 